Right, I am Mark, your kind and generous dungeon master, and if you're sitting comfortably, we shall begin. Lava Gorge. It lies far to the north of the Tablelands, in the center of the Scorch Plateau. Here, Athas is torn open. Here, great fountains of magma erupt toward the sky. Plumes of sparks and flame and roiling clouds of black smoke lie low and brooding over the landscape. Here, the Surans of the Scorch Plateau come on seasonal pilgrimages to bow themselves in obeisance to the lords of magma, the great lava elementals. Here, Scathis, you have come. The memory, or a dream of it, only a few months in the past, and yet as raw as if it were a wound inflicted upon you just yesterday. Around you, your fellow Surans, those who venerate the elementals, their voices rise and fall in sonorous chants, deep basso rumblings through throat sacks, high-pitched flutings, rhythmic thudding of the tail against the landscape. And then those for whom devotion is not enough. Those for whom demonstration is required. Among them, Vashkes, your egg brother. As you shoulder your way through the massed throng of Surans, their voices ululating wildly around you, there you see him, along with the other postulates of ascension wearing tattered rags, his throat dyed black with ash, claws held high, screaming prayers to the elemental lords. As if he senses you, he turns. Ah, egg brother, you have come. Come join us in the moment of ascension, the magma in it will, will be reborn anew. Brush curse, you must stop this. This is madness, surely you can see that. This is our destiny, those of us who have seen the truth, we will go into eternity. Come, you must join us. Join us, my brother. No, Vasquez. The song of the blackened throat deceives you. No, it is truth. It is wisdom. It is... It is immortality. It is death, Vashkes. Nothing more. They are the same! He takes one, then another, then another step back toward the precipice. The other four gathered with him in lockstep. If you can break through the crowd, if you could just run fast enough, you would be able to reach him. In this dream, he tries to, though he knows surely how the memory turns out. Forward you run, forward you push, shoving at those around you. And this dream state is indeed almost as if it could be real. 
almost as if it could happen. Almost. Your feet seem to move through slow sand as you break out onto the promontory. Vashkas no longer sees you and instead steps forward over the edge and vanishes, plummeting into the lava. Vashkas, no! It is to this shout that you awaken Your voice echoing back to you from the walls. The Red Tower. Your breath labors in your chest. The dream fades. A remembrance of what truly happened. Your inability to save him. And then you hear it. Scarthus. A voice calling your name. Scarthus. He reaches for his sword. Those of you who are likewise in the uh, in the Red Tower, here you have been hunkering down for several days, waiting for the great dust storm to pass. You made it this far in the eye of the storm and then sought refuge as it blew inexorably over the land. You're aware of Scathis' shout, of him rising in the gloom, mandible sword clutched in his claws, as if he's hearing something. The voice comes again, Scathis, coming from the pinnacle of the tower, where you had your fateful battle with Karadal, Barak, and the Swiftwings. You follow the noise? Yes. Hesitantly. Weapon in hand. Are the rest of us aware of, of this as well, or is it Yes, as I, as, as I said, yeah, I mean... Yeah. Vasquez, no! Sam would have woken you. Were we all, were we all kind of in you a all, group? Yeah. I'm, I, as in my mind, you were all spooning. You're probably a little spoon. <laughs> I am L probably little the little spoon. spoon. The littlest yeah. spoon, yeah. I'm the yes. teaspoon. Um, yeah. But I, I'm not going to impose that vision on you. You know, I'm not that kind of DM. No, I am. Very I'm, generous. I'm, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm keeping that to myself. That's it's a very private, kind. That's and a private generous. thing for me. Yeah, um, kind and generous. Your head cannon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I get up from... Not my spoon <laughs> position. Uh, and, uh, out of the teacup, yes. <laughs> out of the thimble that I'm sleeping in. Yeah. Um, and I, I look at, uh, at Scathis. He doesn't even appear to be fully aware of you. He's almost, it's almost like he's reverted to a, a, a more primal Surin state. Sniffing, head cocked prowling claws on the stone up the stairs and to uh, up the, the central well to the upper level of the tower. Um, why don't we try out our new overlay, Lee? <laughs> How quick is that for you to do? It is one that we prepared earlier. It is done. It is done. Oh, it's, it's working. Look. AMG. I'm so excited. And for those of you who've asked to be able to see the dice rolls, look, look, you can see them. There they are. So cool. Um, <laughs> I should probably make it so I can see that image as well, though. That would help. Right, um, so you emerge onto the top of the tower, 
And there is a burning, blazing form. I'll actually bring him onto the uh, the token there. It stands atop one of the outcrops of stone. A humanoid, vague form of rippling lava. Skin mottled and black and cracked and oozing fissures of molten rock. A cloud of smoke hanging about it. And it's out of these fissures of rock that comes the noise. And with an exhalation of steam, it comes rolling down the stone towards you. Is there somewhere that I should place myself on this map? You can place it. You, you've come out of the central well area, actually. So anywhere, any on any side you like. And anyone else who wishes to um, to watch Gathis get uh, eaten by a magma elemental can um, can put themselves in there as well. Okay, Front row seats. That's a choice then. So yeah, I'll leave myself off. Okay, yeah, it is a choice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna just. Uh, Pop some initiative. Uh, let me just make sure the initiative thing is clear. There aren't. Good, good, good. Uh, M Mark, can I ask a quick question? Um, yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, magma is one of my chosen elements. Yes, it is. Um, so would I consider this thing to be some sort of holy vessel? Or the head is some kind of spirit of okay, so that the, I should uh, revere? You revere um, the spirit of the land. Right. The elements are one of the, are one of the things that make that up. Right, right, right. Right? The elements can be kind, they can be dangerous, they can be neutral. Right, right. How, right. how your character interacts with that and how you respond to that is really and that is up to you. And it will okay. define how your druid um, interacts with the living world, as it were. Okay, gotcha. Um, so if anybody wants to do anything here, I'm going to just pop on the initiative roll for the... I, the uh... He rolled terribly. <laughs> I think I'm just going to be kind of hiding behind something, just watching out of curiosity. Yep, that's cool. Yeah, I'm going to hang back with Siora as well and observe this thing because it is it is. Okay, so I'll leave you out this round. You're you're, uh, you're not necessarily acting this round then. Um, <coughs> Darje, your rapid Josal reactions have you springing to the alerts right away. What what do you want to do? Um, yes, can we, um, can I hide myself somewhere? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, from you can this see, thing. So, um, I mean, maybe here in the shadows or something. These things here are, are large stone pillars. They won't be able to see you there. Um, dropping yeah. down there is also in the shadows. Um, yes, all good options. Okay, I am moving here then. Okay, and if you want to make me a hide in I'm... shadows roll on your rogue tab, uh, you can go ahead. Yes. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, I believe I'm wearing armor. You are not wearing armor. I don't armor. know how much of a difference. It, Am I not? Make, yeah, it won't make any difference. That's a Never thing. mind. Or <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. none of us wearing can, armor. Can I, can I, can I use I... my chameleon instead? Uh, yes, absolutely. So that, that's your action for the round, is to yes. blend completely invisible against the wall. Um, you had a question there on that quickly? Yes, I uh, instead of doing nothing uh, can i spend the round casting a bless spell so you start so for for the whole round you're casting yeah it's a, a cast yes. a cast in times around so yep gotcha i will okay. uh i'll be doing the same thing as darje just hiding in the shadows and peeking around a corner <laughs> okay cool um success verily art thou muted success hmm. uh yeah, it's going to take one step uh, towards uh, Scarthus <clears throat> and concentrate briefly and put her hand on his back to give him eight. Okay, so roll me a macro for that. It's an extra extra D8 hit point, isn't it? Yep, and a bless spell. And a bless spell, okay. Will that stack with my bless spell? No. 
but it only works for him. Yeah. Yes. For him. Yeah. Yes. Whereas mine is for a fifty-foot cube. For, so. the, for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. You should just be able to click the macro there, Carl. Yeah. Give me a sec. No. <laughs> There it is. Boop. Boing. A whole hit point. Outstanding. Wow. Well, okay. thankfully you <laughs> okay. got that out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. <laughs> um, right. So Scathis Sucs just steps up behind you and there is a murmured incantation. I mean, you feel a little bit more competent. Um, your, your, your hide feels like it thickens ever so slightly. It's not a massive difference, but um, but there you go. Um, what do you want to do? All right. Uh, yeah. First of all, are any of us wearing armor? Do it? Did any of us sleep in armor? No one sleeps in armor. No. No one sleeps in armor. So I am unarmored at the moment, and I believe I only grabbed a sword. Your mandible sword, yeah. You have pursued me. All the way from the scorched plateau. How far must I flee? Uh, and he is going to. Oh, do I approach or do I do a non stupid thing? <laughs> <laughs> the choice of every Dungeons and Dragons player anywhere, I feel that is. Uh... Yes, that is. That is the universal. <laughs> um, well, I can't do armor optimization. You know what? I'm actually just instead of uh, attacking or approaching, I am going to do tactics. Uh, okay. Like this. Size up the situation. Yeah. Okay. Good. Go ahead and roll that. I have your current armor class. Then is it fifteen? That's better than most. <laughs> yeah, my stick beefy hide. Okay, so yeah, make me a tactics roll and uh, Senex. Um, I want to. So I've got no idea what's going on. Something to do with Scathis and this creature passing. Yeah, he's he, he's yes, exactly. He's made some reference to it to, so, to his backstory. Yes, so I am just going to focus on the creature's mind, and I want to know what's going on and what he's thinking. Okay, his mind is open. Okay, right, good. Um, you feel domination. You feel an imposed will, an order to find and kill the blasphemer. And then it's mind, blasphemer and scathis are like overlaying concepts. Right. But it's clear this thing is being controlled and almost certainly was sent here by someone else. And it has the single-minded focus of an elemental drawn to this plane, or a para-elemental as it happens, drawn to this plane for a task laid before it. And that task is murder. Can I delve into the creature's mind to think of who is controlling him? That's going to require the probe power, which you don't have. Ah. Uh, at, at that, you can make a movement if you want, because at that time... the What, what hit dice is the creature so I can mark off the PSP? Um, excuse me. It is a mighty four hit dice. Oh, four hit. Okay, two, two yeah. PSP. <clears throat> At any rate, it comes swarming down the uh, the steps, as I said, and at that moment, swings its huge magma-ish arm <laughs> straight towards Senex, uh, toward uh, towards Scathis. Sorry, just gonna say. Yeah, that would be a bit unkind of me, wouldn't it? Um. Scathis avoids the blow fairly easily. Uh, the thing is slow, and he's already checking out his... Uh, uh, yes, general action, uh, uh, Scathis. Um, he's already eyeing the thing up, getting an understanding of how it works, and so is able to... Uh... Oh, I'm sorry, um, it's a proficiency. I see what you're asking. It should be on the proficiencies page. Or oh, actually, it's a, isn't that a wisdom check? It, it doesn't say either way in the actual thing. It just says I can spend around studying to gain that. Oh, then it just happens. Okay, great. No roll. It just, it's just a thing. No roll needed. Good. Because you rolled awfully. Um, 
And it's as you're studying the thing, uh, it comes towards you, swings, you duck quite easily under its low, slow, ponderous blow. Um, Siora is hidden. Thicket has, you finish casting your spell. Um, the energies of the bless descend around the group. Everyone gets a, what is it, plus one to hit, plus one saves? Uh, plus one to hit, plus one saves against fear, and plus one to morale. Okay, nice, right. Um, give me a revised initiative, everyone, please. Uh, yes. Um, would it be safe to say that, you know, following Scathis, I brought my bow? Absolutely fine for you to grab the bow. No problem at all. Wonderful. What, question, is this thing going to melt my sword if I try and hit it with it? Your sword will make a saving throw. Okay. I wish I'd grabbed the obsidian spear then, but oh well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a lovely roll. <laughs> okay. Wow. Dar J. Um, once more uh, at the forefront of things. Yes. Um, I would like to um, perform uh, some inspiration to try and give Scathis a better fighting chance against this thing. Um, and I'm going to say it's going to be a plus one to saving throws. Okay, I don't cool. think I need to roll for that, but do you want me no, to describe no, it? It, it? No, yeah, go ahead. Yes, uh, absolutely. My goodness. Absolutely, of course. What are you saying? So, um, from the uh, shadows of the pillar, Scathis, uh, you see the purplish tinge of Darje's scales, and uh, even though he's hidden from the monster's sight, uh, he takes the time to give you a little shimmy of his frills. And uh, you see the spots on them dance in such a pattern as if to say, you got this, buddy. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, uh, so that's a plus one on saving throws, and that applies to everybody, by the way. Yes, not just him, but yes. Yeah, but yeah, okay. Nice. Very cool. Um, the magma elemental completely fails to notice you. Senex. I am going to attempt an ego whip. Not sure if oh. I mean if it's part still humanoid, then I will try. <laughs> if it does anything, who knows? Twenty-two. Okay. Um, does the ego web specifically say it works? It works on humanoids. Humanoid. Then no. No. Okay. Uh, the the thing's mind is far too alien and barely even really a mind at all. Just a uh, um, a stony set of instructions. That uh, the ego whip takes no effect. Scathis. Right, Scathis is going to attempt to swing in with his mandible sword. Okay, cool. Okay, this thing is on the class. Hits. 16, so you just miss it. Um, the blade swings, passes through the smoky corona uh, oh, around the elemental. There is a bless, yes. So that's a hit. Huh. Okay. Oh, I also did tactics, so it actually would have been a plus one as well anyway. It, um, it would have been, right. The for... second one is, is a miss, however. Um, so let's do a couple of things in order. First, um, the... Uh, the chitin of the blade passes slowly through the magma, has no effect on the supernatural essence of the creature at all. Um, right. Second, yeah, secondly, I'm going to want you to roll me a d20, and this is a saving throw against magical fire for bone or ivory, which chitin counts as. You want a nine or higher. Okay. Um, the blade singes and smokes, and you can see bits of the chitin along the end bubble, but it does not melt from the intense heat of the magma. Uh, the magma apparently, however, is completely unhurt. Success. Mm. Success uh, casts her, uh, her lizard eyes to the heavens and like pulling from the sky, she pulls a wisp of wind and another, from another direction, another wisp of wind, and pushes them towards uh, the elemental. 
she casts uh, Winds of Change. Mm hmm. Um, I suppose you know what that does, right? I would like you to describe it to me, please. Yeah. The, uh, is it the one which which, which fucks with their uh, yeah, alignment? With, yeah, with their alignments, basically. Um, the spell alters the judgment of one creature at random, um, at random intervals, depending on the direction of the winds. The spell can divert a creature from its goal for an extended time without physically harming it. If the wind changes between east and west, the creature's distinction between good and evil alters. A wind that varies between north and south alters the altitude between law and chaos. In absolutely calm conditions, the creature becomes true neutral. Okay. And well, I'm going, to consult, I'm going to consult my wind table then. Exactly. Because I've got one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, right. One to three is change for north or south. That's a change for east or west. And there we go. Just try slowing it down. I, I don't expect too much of a result, but you never know. Yeah. Okay. Uh... All right. Um, the thing seems to pause for a moment as if reconsidering its options here. You can see the changing wind swirling ever so slightly around it, and for a moment it settles back as the effects of your spell war with the instructions. Elementals aren't particularly in driven by alignment, um, and you may well find that its instructions have no bearing upon its nature of good or evil or law or chaos. But the moment of confusion does appear to have taken hold, and it's up next and does nothing, instead spending the moment trying to clear its mind of the strange, windy influence that you placed upon it. You've won yourselves a few moments reprieve. Thicket. Um, I cast um, a spiritual weapon, uh, producing a small, um, a small uh, hammer uh, model. Yeah. Um, which um, I then uh, bless with my holy symbol and uh, um, I launch it into the air. Um, it uh, hold on. It creates. Uh, where is it? Yeah. So basically, it it manifests as the, the 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 flying hammer, and it it, it launches towards uh, the the elemental. Great. Um, ten yards per level. So yep. yeah, should okay. be, should be enough. Great. Uh, armor class sixteen. Okay. I don't really know what to roll, so I'm just going to roll a d twenty. Yep, I've got your other stats necessary here. Okay. Eighteen. Eight. Yes. Nice. Okay. Brilliant. Give me damage for that, and that should be on the macro. That's a D4 plus one. So, yeah. Uh, Dooby -dooby -doo. Spiritual hammer macro. Did that do something? Should roll damage if you click the macro button. If not, just give me a... I did click the macro button, and nothing happened. Okay. There we go. Uh, oh, maximum Ooh, damage. I give, I, give you, I give you five damage because I'm very kind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the dice love you. Uh, uh, they the, do. <laughs> the spiritual weapon hurtles across the battlefield, wham, slams right into uh, the magma. Uh, apparently, metal. There's spurts of lava in all directions. And the thing recoils, and you can see you've actually driven a hole, and you can see blue white flame burning in its interior. That's an injury. Mm. It also makes its mind up. Burn and kill. Burn and kill. But <laughs> it reveals that it is a, it, it, it's vulnerable to something, at least. Uh, finally, yeah. in the round, Siora. Um, so from what I can gather from just watching this fight, it doesn't seem to take damage from non-magical yeah. hits, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, <clears throat> and I don't really think that I have anything for this. No, it's a bit, un um, bit unkind of me to do this to you guys, really, but there you go. Oh, well. So, um... Um... Honestly, 
I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hide. Good good call, stay out of the way. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stay hidden and I'm just gonna kind of uh hope it ends well. <laughs> okay. Uh, initiative for everyone please. Um Mark, quick ruling. Um yeah. so there's I have a shillelagh spell. And yes. It says that I can enchant a, 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 a club or something to make it a magical weapon, essentially. Um, the question is, do I have to be the one re- wielding it, or can I bless someone else's cudgel to do the same for them? You can bless someone else's cudgel. Okay. Does anyone have a cudgel? <laughs> uh, it's, not hard staff. F- it's not hard for you to find uh, um, old petrified wood here in the tower, um, or okay. bits of cactus. It'll work in much the same way. Okay. I... Uh... I will uh, do that. And uh, oh, okay, um, Scathis, you, you're up first. Um, but if Thicket, who's last in the round, tells you of his plan, maybe you might want to hold until he gives you a magic um, stick. Hold on, let me just. Um, yeah, it depends uh, on whether or not he hears a plan. Otherwise, he is going to run. Right. <laughs> I, 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 I will, I will shout across the battlefield as much as I can. Scathis, to me, I will give you a weapon. Uh, yep, he'll start moving that way. Let's see. I'm hiding behind the pillar. <laughs> Very bravely. <laughs> Big up and down, arms waving to me. <laughs> 12 squares of movement I can get there. Yep. Exactly. Did I roll? Uh, I did roll, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so Scathis, um, you rapidly move away. The thing swipes for you, but you're moving far too fast for it to touch. And uh, you take up position next to uh, to the Hobbit. Siora, you're remaining hiding, did you say? Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to be watching hunk, what happens, hunk. but hunk it down. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Wise wise move. Senex. Um, I will plant a fearful image into the creature's mind. Or attempt to, that is. Yes! Okay. And I can't. I will manifest a version. And let me just tell you what a that version, does. A version of what? Person or place? Action or event? Person. So I can see that I'm probably the closest to him. We've, I take it we can't see Darje. Um, you can't see Darje or Siora right now. No, I know obviously Carlos behind me, so I will plant it on myself so he can't move towards me. Okay, gotcha. Do everything of, to to avoid me. Yeah, twenty yards. So that's sixty mm-hmm. feet. To, ha, has to go sixty feet away from you. Um, okay, so it's probably going to struggle to get near. Uh... For one round, that is. Yeah. Yeah, okay, it's going to be interesting. Right, uh, okay, uh, Darje? Um, yes, much like Siora, Darje is not suited for this kind of battle. So um, he is, uh, at the moment, going to... I'm going to hold. You're going to hold, See if okay. anything else happens, yep. All right, cool. Uh... I just think right. we're both, like, backs against the, the wall, but we can, like, kind of see each other. We're just like... Yeah, we're both just like, uh, uh. <laughs> uh the closest it can get is. Yeah, it can't. Abs- absolutely. Nope. Okay, right. So uh, that's really cool. So the Agmaid Man uh, moves around here, trying to get closer, uh, but its elemental head keeps snapping toward uh, Senex and moves and finally takes up a a position right over here at the edge of the top of the tower, rolling back and forth, desperate to charge closer to uh, to Scathis, but quite simply unable to get nearer to him. Held at bay by the power of Sarnix. Nice. Giving us a little bit of time to... Yeah. I I, I look over, while I'm doing this with uh, with Scathis, I yell over to Zuxis, can you make a cudgel for, for one of the others? So, Chris, you're up now. Here's a stick. Hmm. <laughs> it's magic. 
think. Uh, Zuxis was actually planning something else. She like. No, no, uh, you do whatever you need to do. I'm just. It, this is just what he yells. No, no, no. I, I get it. I'm explaining to everybody what's all right, what, all right. what's going on. Um, uh, and she she was actually pausing to go downstairs, uh, and then uh, proceeds to. Uh, she nods and then starts casting. Okay. It's a, it's level one, right? Yeah, it's the first level spell. Yeah, yeah. And casting time is what five. Uh, I believe it's two. three it's two. or two. Shillelagh, yeah, right? Two. Okay, yeah, then, it, then, it, then it goes off right away, almost. Okay, so she does that, and uh, she holds out the stick to anybody who wants it. Presumably Darje, or... As long as he can hold it. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a club. Like a okay. piece of pet petrified wood, but it's gleaming ever so slightly with a pale blue light. Um, yeah, toss it over. Okay. <laughs> I, I, see, right. I see. I see. Darjay, right? Darjay like, emerges literally, seemingly out of stone. You actually see like, a piece of the stone detach itself. She she, she throws uh, Darjay the the cudgel, and then uh, proceeds downstairs to uh, break up the camp and start packing all the animals. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Priorities. So. Uh, Darje, you have a held action, and even with the initiative delay from that, you're going to act before Thicket. Um, so if you want to take it now, go ahead. Yeah. Um, what's my movement rate? 18, right? It's so just, how many yeah, squares? That's all, all the squares. All of them? 10 million? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, uh, okay, if I if I use the... If I, you know, go up to him, the, the thingy, I mean. Sorry, yep. my brain. Um, yeah. So it's a magic weapon I go up to the big to fire hit. guy. Yes. Plus one, and it has. Um, it does. What is it? It's, if, is it large? It's not it's large. No. I could uh, then do two d four damage. Magic sticks. You I could do a wheel. You could give me both sticks, and I do a wheel them. That is very true. <laughs> What's your okay, oh, Sorry, I, am... I was joking. <laughs> I am going to <laughs> attack, go but okay. I'm Just, my um, my question is. Do, do I have movement to come back behind, say, like this pillar or something yes. yep. next to me? Absolutely. Sorry. Okay, okay. use your bite. Excellent. I will be that doing that. Your bite has the right attack bonus for the uh, for the cudgel. Okie dokie. Yeah, bite, bite. bite the magma elemental. <laughs> Ah, no, you swing at it, fail to connect the blow. The thing ah. looms over you. Are you going to run away? I added the, the, the plus one, right? Yeah, but that's And there's still, a bless as well. That's still not a 16. Uh, thicket's thing. Yeah. And it's plus that's one. That's what I mean, the bless. It's a plus one weapon as well, so it's plus two all totaled. Yes, that's still not 16. And your in your inspiration? That's a shame. Inspiration only does saving throw bonuses. Ah, okay. It was, right, so, uh, yeah, it was uh, anointed for saving throws, but I'm going to move anyway, regardless. Okay, right, you Back flee. Here. You do not have rapid retreat. It swings for you as you run. Um, fails to connect, however, its blow hits only on empty air. Thicket. Okay, my first, the first thing I'm going to do is have my uh, spiritual weapon attack the elemental. Yep, go. Um... I'm just going to roll uh, a d20 because I don't have the dice. 11. So I don't know what that... Uh, 11... Is, is it blessed? Uh, yeah, 11, 12, 13. No, you're, you're, you're short. It flies around and shing, returns to your hand. Okay. And then I complete the, um, uh, the casting of the shillelagh spell on the cudgel for Scathis. Uh, producing my holy symbol and the tinchweed leaf, and I crush it into the cudgel. Uh, uh, it's not much, but it will be better than nothing. I hand you uh, the cudgel. You're muted. A stick. <laughs> it's a magic stick. You are making a fool of me, halfling. It is blessed but... by the spirit of the land. If you are making a fool of me, you had better hope I die. <laughs> okay. Um, Scathis, All the same, Scathis, he takes it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Scathis, if you have movement, you can attack this round because you haven't taken an attack action. Otherwise, we're, we're rolling an ish for the next round. No, no movement. 
Okay. Time. All right. Let's see it then. Yes. Attack the fire thing with the wooden stick. Uh, what's the speed for the stick? Uh, this three. And it does two d four damage and has plus one. That's really good. That's a great fucking weapon. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> I was like, that's uh, well. I mean, against large targets, it only does d four plus one, but. Why don't you guys carry these things all the time? <laughs> I know. <I'm> just like, <laughs> well, they only last for four rounds, so... Okay. Yeah. Oh, and plus one round per level, so it, it's actually okay. eight rounds. All right. Uh, I, I guess we're all done. Siora? Still hiding? I mean, yeah. I... I, I yeah. <laughs> I can't do anything. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna hide. In fact, I might actually... If I see Zuxis go and prepare the tanks... Um, I might actually go help with that. Um, okay. All right. So you and Success drop down into the lower level and uh, begin packing up your various belongings. Yes. She ha Zuxus has a very focused look about her, I would imagine. Make sure that we have all the supplies that we need. The storm has uh, abated right, already, right? Yes. Uh, so are, you, are, you, are you giving zero orders there? Was that to me? No, no, I was asking you. Okay. <laughs> Make no. sure. Not, not, not like that. Yeah, no, she will do that, actually. Okay. Yeah. Oh, she will. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Suxa starts barking orders at you, Sura. Hey, I bite my tongue mm. <laughs> and do what she says. Clearly, clearly she, she thinks it, it needs to be done properly, this preparing the caravan for uh, the trip out. Okay, Darjay. Um, yes, Darjay is going to try again uh, with his magic stick to uh, hit, hit the fire guy. Um, and if, if that doesn't work, or even if I do hit, my next action is to run to where Scathis and Thicket are. Okay, cool. I Diamond can, Anvil, I, I was, was going to suggest that Sior chant and, and do a kind of like cheerleader thing with that. I'm glad someone else did that because I didn't. <laughs> yes, solid hit. You land a thwacking blow, and uh, it's two d4 damage. And you can use the dice roller uh, just on the side for that. Down the side of roll twenty. Yeah, like I'll do it for you. There you go, like this. Yes. Oh, Boing. okay. Six. Okay. Um, the weapon being magical renders it for the time being at least, immune to being immolated by fire. The blue light flares right. around the Shlele Kajul. Um, there's smoke pours off it, but it doesn't catch light. And you knock a great chunk of magma out of the side of the thing. It rolls, hits the floor, becoming hardened rock. And then I, I speed and then, away. And then you run away again. Okay, so as we've already established, you don't have yes. rapid retreat. So he is going to try and hit you. No. Uh, th that might be a hit. It is. Oh, oh my goodness! My armor class. No. Seventeen. Yeah. Surely yeah. not. Surely. Oh, Don't rubbish. Call me surely. Um, and uh, <laughs> six damage. A searing blow strikes you from behind as you run, Darjay, and trailing hot, hot, a, hot, hot, hot. a little line of smoke, <laughs> yeah. uh, you hurry over to Cat to uh, to rejoin your companions. Um, success. I guess you're you're packing. Okay. Cool. Senex. Um, but, 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 but I'm going to hold my action until after Thicket. I have. I, uh, 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 oh God! Scathes is before. It's a different initiative from last round, aren't it? Oh, but I rolled initiative. Yeah, he's before me. Thicket's before me. Oh, uh, oh, it's not uh, updated it properly. There we go. Yeah, it's okay, thicket, unacceptable. Yeah. Thicket, go, thicket, go ahead. <laughs> okay, uh, Thicket uh, bends down, uh, looking uh, around the floor for some stones, um, and um, picks them up. If you, I'm assuming there's some loose yes. rocks around. Yes. Um, and um, where is this spell? Here it is. Okay. Um, uh, I produce my uh, my holy uh, my holy symbol, and then I, I bless the stones with uh, the spirit of the land, infusing it with uh, its power. And then I fling the stones at the magma elemental. Brilliant, go. Um, and then I need to roll. You've only got little arms, so they only go five feet. Ba base T twenty. You you need to roll a thirteen or higher to hit with this. A four, a twelve if they're if they're if they're plus one weapons. They are plus one weapons, and they I'm also higher. blessed. Okay, eleven. 
19. Yes. Stone strikes magma. Three stones strike magma. Oh, go, go, and go. they do 3d4 points of damage. What? Seriously? Oh, three ones? That's... Okay, well, each one. That, Send... that could have been so much more. That could have been so much more. It looked pretty cool, though. I'm not going to lie. Damn it. Oh, and my magic weapon also attacks. Okay, go with that. <laughs> my, sorry, uh, my, uh, you know what I mean, my spiritual hammer. Yeah. Hammer time. 14. That's a hit. With and all the bonuses, does... that's absolutely a hit. Yep. And D4 then plus a, one. A D4. Plus one, so three more damage. I'm uh, I'm slowly chipping away. <laughs> slowly chipping, yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> chunks of magma and lava flying off, spurting in all directions, spattering against the ground, hissing, cooling, becoming tiny black chunks of rock. Uh, and Senex, you're up. Um, I will place an aversion on Scathis for the magma thing, but like try to make it kick in after he's had his go if I can. Him and uh, well, him and uh, the elemental are on the same, same initiative. Oh, I will do that then. Try to do it anyway. Yes. yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, Scathis, as presumably you uh, run to attack it, it's going to try and get away from you. Uh, but there's only so far it can go. Can I move there? Okay. So, is it able to run before I run at it, or? Uh, it runs at the same time as you, but you will pres you will back it up to this point. It can't actually get any further than that. Could I have, let's say, could I have placed it after he hit it? Which was my yeah, plan. unfortunately, Which I'm not going to be able to hit it. That's as far as I can go. You wanted it to be after, so you're yeah, going to hold. I would, yeah, that's what I wanted. Yeah, I wanted to hold, let him hit it, and then place the aversion of it. That's completely fine. Thank you. Hit him with your little stick. Aha! Very well. I will try. Um, uh, I don't have that weapon in my. You just roll a, a d20. I've got all your stuff here. Right. You're attacking at three, seven plus nine, so you want a five or higher. There you go. Crunch. Nice. It's 2d4 yeah. plus what? It's going to be 2d4 plus 2d4 plus five for you. Ah. And it's a magical weapon, so does that add one? That is that is including the one. Okay, yeah. All right, that is nine. As he, hopefully, as he, as he grabs it in two hands and just uh, takes a swing at it, hoping it connects. It connects solidly. There is a great spray of magma all around you. Small particles of it patter across your body. Um, not enough to do you any damage. Your natural serum immunity to heat, at least, protects you from that. Uh, and as it's on the same initiative, in the same initiative as you, it swings for you. Does, does my version kick in? No, you haven't cast it yet. Natural 20, maximum damage. 12 damage. Hey. As the uh, great crushing magma fist wham, slams down upon you. Then your aversion manifests and it gives a high pitch like a kettle reaching the boil and backs off up to here. Take an attack of opportunity? Uh, yes, you can. Do All it. Right. Do it now. Okay, what did I say before? You're attacking at nines, plus nine, so that means you needed a five. Um, because you're attacking it from behind, as it flees, you get an extra plus two, so that is actually a hit by one point. Okay. And Ooh, there nice. we go. Nicely done. Uh, your blow lands as it flees from you. The thing gets to about here when you hit it, and then it simply comes apart in a welter of spattering, cooling, Dying, steaming magma. When I see this happen, I immediately run over to the to, to its cooling form. Yeah. And I produce a small clay pot, and I very gingerly harvest the cooling magma. <laughs> oh, don't mind yeah. me. 
Having been burned by magma for 12 damage, Scathis is just... <sighs> oh, 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 wait. Uh, 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 stand, stand still. And I uh, lay my hands upon him to give him a... a cure moderate wounds. Yeah, go for that. Lee, while he's running for that, go back to the other overlay. Roger, roger. It's, uh, it's about uh, around this time that... Uh, Scarth has emerged with the two Kangs in tow and a, and a very sweaty and, 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 and what probably flushed Siora uh, with a completely emptied out uh, campsite and everything packed and ready to go. Okay. And you can see there on roll 20, um, the picture of the Magma Elemental, which I meant to show before the battle, but I was, um, oh, wow. too, I was too excited about the overlay and forgot to do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Do you want he, people he to gets... see that? Yeah, people can see that. Let, 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 there you go. Let the viewers I have to go that. back on the battle map for that, though. That's no, it's not on the battle map. Yeah, it has to. That's the only thing that shows us the screen. So, there we nice. go. Nice. Okay. So, you're telling me that the regular overlay isn't going to show pictures? It, it, it shows a rotation of pictures. So, not not individual images? No, no. Okay, we'll have to address that, because that's, that's no good. Okay, cool. Um, come back to the main one there, yeah. Interesting. Uh, okay. So he takes. He. I heal him for seven points. For seven. Um, how badly yes. injured is he? He's on thirty-five out of thirty-nine. Oh, okay. Fine. It's a scratch. Your stick was a good weapon. I thank you. You're welcome. It. It will. It will fade, in a few moments. It will be but a stick again. Probably it's useful to bring the sticks along. For eight minutes. <laughs> he thrust the stick uh, up high after looking at the remains of the uh, magma elemental and shouts in Surin. Uh, Do you see me now, song of the blackened throat? The power of your false deities, smitten with a stick. <laughs> That's uh, success. success. And... Yeah, this is as you're coming up. This is what you hear being being yelled. Does she know about the black throat? You've never heard of it before. Well, we probably can't understand what you're saying. Well, success can. Oh, yeah. okay. Success can. What's he saying? I think he's taking a fondness to that stick. No, he's challenging the whatever it was that sent uh, that fire elemental uh, after him. Mm. Black throat. I did Never heard reach into the creature's mind, and it was definitely dominated by something. It's an elemental. I mean, they rarely act of their own, out of their own accord against uh, mere uh, mortals. No. True. I go. I back said to kill Scathis. I'm going to go mm -hmm. back to retrieving more of the cooling magma embers, and as I'm yeah. doing so, I'm, I'm muttering prayers under my breath to the spirit of the land. Okay. Scathis notices. Are you alright, Scathis? Fine. Thank you for your help. He tosses the stick down. Actually, no, he will hand it back to uh, Thicket if Thicket wants it. <laughs> Thank you. You keep it for now. It will fade, like I said. It's just a stick soon. That's walks over for future. Yes. Walks over to the remains of the elemental. <laughs> Spits on them. A satisfying <laughs> from, the, uh, from the slightly cooling stone. <clears throat> so, um, Suxis, yes, uh, you and Siora have finished packing up the the bedrolls and camp supplies onto the backs of your two canks. An urgency to leave has uh, has made itself present to you. Well, <clears throat> I wasn't sure whether we were going to be able to uh, outfight this. But I was convinced that if we weren't able to outfight it, we're at least going to be able to outrun it. 
So that's why. But um, uh, Suxis uh, looks at Scarthis and cocks her head, and you see an inquisitive tongue probe the air bit in between them. They're going to come back for more. Mark, have I ever been, during the whole time since I fled the Scorched Plateau, is this the first time I've actually been attacked by something yes. they sent after me? Yes, this yeah. is the first time. You got a good head start. I do not know if more will come. Who are these Black Throat? The Song of the Blackened Throat. The a magma cult from where I came. I spoke out against them after my egg brother was immolated ritually. I had to flee. I did not know whether they chased me. Until now. But you woke in your dreams, though. It almost feels like you summoned the creature yourself. You called out a name. Like you do, it was here. Vashkes, my egg brother. Mark, how many times have I relived that memory in dreams? more than you are comfortable with. Yeah. So it was not that that summoned uh, the elemental. I have relived that memory as a dream many times. So Is this conversation happening in a language that we can all understand, or is it in uh, Surin? This is in, in a language that we all want to understand because Senex is part of the conversation. Okay. Yeah, Sorry. I assume it would be in common. Yep. <clears throat> um, Success uh, continues uh, briefly in Sirens. This, this does uh, <clears throat> change the nature of our uh, business arrangements, uh, I suppose. And we will have to renegotiate your fees. If I am too much of a burden, I understand. No, 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 that is fine. But since I hired you to keep me safe, and uh, I suppose a discount uh, would be in order for you bringing uh, less safety upon us. This I cannot argue. Good. I suppose we'd be on our way before the next one comes. I want to know what Darje thinks. Where have they found you, Scathies? This is the first time I have been found by them. Daje would like to know what is their end goal for finding you. I am an apostate. I do not know why they pursue me. They see you as a blasphemer. That's why. So he must die. That's the feeling I got from the elemental. I imagine they want it's to make an thoughts. example of you. I suppose it uh, supports their believability. Uh, and their re reputation among the Surin. They can't let it slide. Then, as long as you travel with me, and the song of the blackened throat yet sings, then you are in danger. If you wish me to leave, I will. As long as you're willing to wield the cudgels, I think we, uh, we are good for now. We are safer with you in all the other instances. I think we can uh, bear this particular instance, you know. Darje uh, has seen you get rid of the danger. Yeah. 
this is acceptable. Together we are stronger, yes? Skathis looks around at all of them. (laughs) I would take a bigger stick. He looks around at all of them, somewhat surprised, as if he expected them to tell him to leave. Very well, then. We will stay together for now. Thank you for your help. Thank you for yours. So is your plan still then to leave right away? What's the storm like? The storm is gone. The surrounding landscape, the outside of the tower, is covered in a fairly hefty layer of dust blown in from the Sea of Silt. But looking out over the dust ocean, it's a smooth, calm expanse under the distant moons. Well, what kind of... um... What time is it? Did you, yeah, like what time evening? of day? Are we got evening burn? time because you know, yeah. How long as well will it's it middle, take us it's, from it's, here to, it's t- the middle. to get to Nibane? Right. So um, from here to Nibane is a considerable different distance. Um, mm-hmm. <clears throat> you're looking at uh, seventy to eighty miles, and the first half of that is through the desert. Right. I say we head back to the encampment and let them know that we have killed the scientist here. The outpost. Mm-hmm. We make it. That's, about, that's about seven miles away. So the, you know, that's like, it's about a day's travel. Mm-hmm. You, you've made a day's hard march to get here to the Red Tower. We may is, there water, is there water there is the question. Well, they had supplies there, did they not? It, it is, is a water but, station. But, but the elves were there, remember? When yes, we left. They were, but they they were being driven be... by the Sionicist, weren't they? Mm-hmm. So if the Sionicist is dead, then... They might just take the water and go. But it is a well. We went down the well, remember? Yes. There was... was there a lot of water down there? I don't recall seeing what the levels were at, but... Gaje remembers a ghost. Yes. The ghost is gone. The ghost is gone, yes. So is water. Well, we could go back and see if there was any survivors. What what do we have on us, supplies wise? Anyway, let's 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 talk about that first. So see where we actually can even get. All right. So you have you arrived with ten days of water plus that's what you took plus whatever personal supplies you had. Um, It's been three days. We have seven days left. Yeah. More or less. Yeah. Uh, we have, Two of we us have don't some require food. water, yeah. though. Sorry? Two of us don't require water or food. Who, who doesn't require water? Uh, Siora and Senex doesn't. Uh. You guys don't require water? No. Well, I mean, I don't say it in character yet, but it does, it does, does Senex reveal that? Well, I suppose we don't. I thought this was more out of character, so... Oh no 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 no! no, no. This, this needs this needs to be an, uh, an in character discussion. Yeah. 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 Um. So sorry about that. Um. How I, much uh... food and water is there left? For seven days. Okay. Go on. That is enough to get to outpost. Yep. And I suppose the outpost is in the direction of Libane anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that and see where, where we where we where we get from there. Did we not wish to right. explore these this tower? I thought the three days that we were here, we may have. Oh, yeah. So you yeah. had a look around the tower. It's pretty much an abandoned ruin. Um, whatever was here was looted many, many centuries ago. There is iconography that shows um, figures with lion heads, uh, and they're on they were on the statues on the approach as well. Oh yeah, um, big statues. Yeah, some mm-hmm. kind of. A god or a type of beast headed giant or who knows what can I have uh, done some sketches of that yeah for sure who knows what it could be what's when a lion it, um... 
<laughs> Rat. Li li Never heard of it. No, lions are known. There you have no, no. <laughs> it is known. When it comes to food, water, and supplies, we need to take into account that if we did go back to Outpost 3, they might try and take our supplies from us. We don't know how desperate they are, what was looted or raided. We as approach... much as... We should approach it with caution, but we could we could spy from a distance whether or not it is occupied by the elves. Darje may enter and spy. It's a good plan. There you go. I think this is the way we go. Darje is can fastest. Join you. Yes. Acceptable. Okay, um, I did use uh, quite a bit of spells just now. Do we want to uh, rest here one more night, or we just go to the outpost? Just go. We rest yeah. on the way. We rest on the way? It's one day to the outpost. Well, Siora did suffer last time we travelled during the day, so maybe we I go at night. I, ca I cannot protect her anymore. So maybe we wait, uh, wait one more night. night. Wait for night. Wait out, yeah. wait out the day and then travel at night. Yes, yeah. that's probably yeah. good. Okay. Does that well, that we also can... that also reduces your water intake by half. Mm -hmm. Would that also have us regain our spells that we cast today? Yes, it would. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the only you, you guys are using uh, then three gallons of water per day. I'm assuming. Remove, uh, remove my water. I yeah, that, that's that's one gallon for Zuxis, one gallon for Scathis, and one gallon between uh, between Us, Dar Littlelands. Dar yeah. yeah, that was my Dar point. I'm I'm assuming whoever's looking after the the uh, supplies has noticed that we've got more than what we should have. If there's a few of us not drinking, a couple of us not drinking. Yeah, eating. yeah, and um, that uh, Tsukis will have uh, will have seen that. So, um, Darje, I, I presume, drinks like a halfling. Oh, those are the size. Yes, half, yeah, half, yeah, half a gallon. Okay, um, let me. I've got a little water calculator here. So, and Siora and Senex don't drink, right? No. Siora will pretend to, but she she won't actually intake anything. She'll kind of pour a cup, like pretend to sip, and then like when no one's looking, pour it back in. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, did you see that point about putting roll twenty under the slideshow? Is that doable? Uh, where's this? Sorry, it's in uh, Zoom chat. Oh, Zoom chat. Sorry, multiple windows. So I have our daily consumption, including the tanks, on five. A little bit, of, a little bit over five gallons. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's doable. I'll have to set up. Uh, and, I, and I'm I'm taking also on board your 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 lizard, which I'm counting like a critic lizard, because that one drinks water too. Yeah. So it's a little bit over five gallons, tiny little bit. Lee, if you can if you can jump on that real quick, sorry, Carl. Then I, yeah. I, I there's a, a a map I can show you as well. Okay, I'll try to do it now. Can you put on the picture that size? Yeah. Do it while we're live. Once um everyone is kind of settled down and I guess resting. If there's a moment where everyone like I imagine we probably eat together whenever yeah. it does happen. Um during the meal that day that is you know cons considering that let's say nothing has happened mark <laughs> i don't know <laughs> um please, 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 please proceed <laughs> okay um <laughs> um Siora will um just kind of serve everyone food and won't serve herself any and um just one, when it, when it's feeling peaceful so, um, I've been thinking hard about this because we're going to be traveling together, it seems. <sighs> mm. 
the situation a few days ago with the Alan that we met. He wasn't wrong. His assumption of me was correct. I... Like Scathis, understand if you would like me to leave. But... I would much rather state my case and stay and answer any questions if there are any. The reason I tell you this is because it's going to be harder and harder to hide. And two, I'm sure as time has gone on, Azuxis, who has been taking inventory, has noticed that we have more food and more water. One thing about my kind is we can use our psionic energy to not have to eat or drink. And I have been trying to pretend to not waste what we have, but I have been trying to deceive you out of fear of what you may do when you find out. And for that, I am sorry. But I'm trying to be honest now. I think that we should get the pitchforks out now. Joking aside, it's very brave of you to come forward. And I, for one, do not care what you are. I think you're excellent travel companions. You're very cheap in the maintenance. You may have noticed I also do not need food or water, but that is more due to mentally enhancing my mind. Uh, is it the same as what Siora does? Um, I suppose it is in a way. It is very psionic based. Are you two in alarm? No. You are one of these milk-blooded creatures. <laughs> no, I am human. Not I pull you. Out, oh, I pull that out. One. I pull and out a knife and I put a little nick in my hand. You can see I bleed red. Scathis had been uh, uh, sort of trying to resharpen his blade after the magma damage. So when you say that you're not an Ilan, he says, no, not you, this one. And he points sort of the uh, mandible sword at Siora, not threateningly, just using it almost like a rudely, like a, like a finger to point at her. I bleed white, yes. Uh, he makes He makes a grimace and says, not good for eating then then goes back to maintaining his blade <laughs> so it looks like you're safe Ciara. Ciara. yeah her in the tanks I, I, um sorry go on I, I i just wanted to say i don't mind Siora similarly to Scathis is kind of a little bit shocked that no one cares. <laughs> Feels a little silly now for keeping it for so long. Um, but, um, well, um, I, I'm glad. Um, <clears throat> uh, I, I hate to ask you to deceive others, but if we can keep this between us, it's very important for me. It will cost five ceramics each week. Mm. Are there some who still care? I, I, as Senex says this, I will start pulling out ceramics. <laughs> Dad, I think he was joking. I try to keep a straight face as long as possible. <laughs> if Darjay says he's joking, she will just kind of give like a little like a confused eyebrow raise and then we'll put her ceramics back. Dajay oh. is getting the vibe that it is a joke. I'm not used to having people joke with me. I apologize. We will be discreet. I also don't like to spread around that uh, 
I am a druid. It brings danger to my uh, to my doorstep. People want things of you. So I'm a trader. That's enough. I'm a druid. I don't mind. <laughs> and thicket, yes, people people still don't like Alan. I don't understand why. They are living. I agree with the... the Daje did say these people would understand. Each have secrets. I know, Daje, and I should listen to you more. Nah, acceptable. <laughs> and I will give Daje, like, head pats. <laughs> he purrs. <laughs> Really? I tried a head pat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The night is much more restful, both as a result of the continued absence of magma elementals but also the truths shared with each other. Ral and Guthe, near full, chase each other across the heavens until the sun rises. And you hunker down the rest of the day within the coolness of the Red Tower the two moons are almost overlapping when the sun sets, emerging over the horizon. And you judge the time has come for you to depart. Mark, before we leave, um, in fact, I want to see if I can use one of my remaining spells from the day before to cast uh, on the magma that I collected. Um, I want to, I want to um, cast uh, Create Holy Element, which takes an hour. Oh. <clears throat> yes, absolutely. Very nice. Yeah, so you can consider that a collection of Holy Magma. Yes. Holy I, freaking magma. I also would have liked to have done something more out of testing my own mental prowess. Yeah. I would have liked to have manifested Insect Mind and then Hive Mind on the Kanks that we have to see... Okay. I wanted to like test my abilities, if, as it were, as they are new to me. Yeah, go ahead. Try the try them one in, one after the other. Insect mind. Fouled. It is a new power to you, and at least for now, it uh, it eludes you. It's elusive. It is. It is elusive. Um, the, there's, there's no healing needed by anybody anymore, right? Scott is fully healed. No, he's still got a little bit. Of, actually, I'll use my remaining healing okay. spells. I, 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 will, I, will, I will. do. I will do that because I, I yeah. don't have anything else to do. With healing and with, with a night's rest and healing and herbalism, Scathis will naturally, naturally heal. Um, Darje, what were you on? I was on 14, I believe, out of 21. Yeah, so you could probably use healing. I'll yeah. put your, you'll be on 17 after the night's uh, over, so you need another another, another four to put yeah. you back. I will, I will use, uh, before we leave, I'll use a detect magic to uh, go and search the runes just one more time. Nothing. Just to waste the spell. Yeah. Well, you've got a couple of nights, a couple of hours, uh, and the rest of the night. So we'll assume that uh, that's enough to give you those four extra hit points back. I'm not going to make you roll for those. Okay. I should point out that during the um, 
the casting of my Create Holy Element, it's, the spell description specifically says that I have to vocalize throughout the casting of an entire hour. So I'll be sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> Darjay does a dance. <laughs> In time to it. Oh, He's like, this yeah. is great. <laughs> well, Senex is getting yump because I'm trying to manifest a mind <laughs> That's of an probably, insect. That's why you failed. Uh, yeah. fucking There's always when Darjay does the... Uh, the lizard dance, it, it stirs something within Scathus and he just, you see his like throat sack uh, sort of uh, blowed up as he throws his head back. <laughs> Ciara wishing she was anywhere else. It's a lizard party, baby. <laughs> it is, it's a, yeah. it is, uh, is my lizard like jumping around dancing, probably? Uh, your lizard is doing that kind of in rhythm. Yeah, totally. We have uh, little lizards that, that uh, like to hang out around our garden, and they always do push-ups when they're in the sun. Yeah. Cool. So weird, little push-ups. Uh, Diamond Anvil says um, they're always worried when uh, the GM allows everyone to get hit points back. It makes you wonder what's coming next. More murder. <laughs> <laughs> right, so under Sunburn. the moons then, and you set out across the desert, leaving the Red Tower and the shores of the Sea of Silt behind backtracking across the sandy wastes toward Outpost 3. Um, Lee, if you can, are you able to pop that map up on the uh, the right overlay this time? Just give a bit of context to, uh, to what I'm describing. Now you pushed hard, there you go, perfect. You pushed hard to get in this, there's a giant D20 on top of me, but now it's gone. Um, you pushed hard to get this far. Um, on that map, uh, it's not shown on this version, but the red tower is right on this little little outcrop here. So you're cutting almost south across the across the the desert toward Outpost Three. Ahead of you, the moons, as they rise over the horizon, are briefly silhouetting the Black Spine Mountain, known to be home to hordes of gif. At this time of night, at least, none are abroad, and you make your way across the desert at a fairly very really demanding pace, plowing your way through the smooth, silky dunes. And trying to avoid the elves still. Um, there is no sign of their camps here at all. Okay. In the, what has it been, four days now since the, the attacks on Outpost 3 ended, they've, uh, they've abandoned them. And, I mean, that doesn't necessarily signify anything. Tribes of Elves to sit in one location is, uh, well... Not like those weird fuckers at Silver Spring, is it? They're not even real elves. At any rate, the <coughs> the rising columns of uh, thin lines of smoke in the uh, in the night air signal to you what the final fate of Outpost Three has been. It must have been burning for a couple of days, as you finally crest over the last line of dunes, and you can see the berm has been broken in many places. The warehouses stoved in, the tents heaped up, bodies among them, and left to burn beneath sun and moons alike. You can even see the well tower has had its walls pulled down. The water in the well, if any was to remain, thoroughly befouled by sand and the ensuing dust storm. There is nothing here. Nothing but death. If any were able to uh, escape alive, the dust storm has long since obscured any tracks that remained. Soon this place will be reclaimed by the desert. Nothing more than a few soft, unidentifiable mounds beneath the unforgiving dark sun. The sun is coming. You could, however, camp, should you so wish. Set up your tents in the lees of some of the toppled stones. I leave it up to you whether the proximity of uh, those with whom you once shared campfires, dead now, is enough to dissuade you from such a course of action. Um, we don't want to travel during the day. Um... We can make camp here.
Yes. It is already abandoned and burnt. No one is going to come here. Except the dead, maybe. And scavengers. Yes. Maybe we should there... set up a little bit of away from here, the place here. We don't necessarily have to be here in the camp itself, right? Is there any any location left, any building that can be used defensively? Or are they all collapsed? They have been quite thoroughly demolished. Okay. Hmm. Very well then, you can push on for another hour or so. And as the sun finally threatens on the horizon, uh, you find an area where, and as you can see on the map, Outpost 3 is, is not far from the border between the rocky badlands and the sandy wastes there, the foothills of the Black Spine Mountains. You can find an area of stable ground, camp in the lee of a canyon. I'm going to set up a perimeter. <laughs> I'm going to set up a perimeter around our camp yep. uh, and cast a Wyvern Watch spell. Okay, good. Its shimmering form comes into uh, into being, tail ready to sort of uh, to a rock above. <clears throat> yeah, glaring yeah. down a gleaming guardian that will watch over you in the night. Um, Carl, you're tracking water and supplies, right? Mm -hmm. So you can knock off another uh, another five gallons. Um, um, what what do we start out with? How many? Because I don't have that to begin tally. Oh, okay. Uh, I did. I did note this. A silly question, but uh, do wyverns exist on on Atlas? Yes, they, and yes, they, yeah, they do. Totally. Oh, okay. So that's it's an actual thing here. Okay. Uh, you took fifty gallons. Fifty gallons in total. Yep. Which is exactly four hundred pounds. So. Okay. Anybody else has has water as well? I believe I had some. Let me just double check. I have. I have two okay. water skins. It's a How gallon much? each. I have one water skin. Also so one gallon. Another gallon. That's, yeah, it's another gallon. Yeah. I have a water skin as well. Because you're yeah, a big I... liar. <laughs> she she doesn't or she does. She does. Deceiver. No, I do have one. Yeah. Sure, I yeah. do. Don't I? I? I remember buying one. Is your does your water skin contain water or is it just empty? Mm -hmm. It's for show. <laughs> I sure I sure hope so. I presume I, I presume Darje has one as well. Makes sense, yeah. right? Yeah, I think you just said so, Lucan, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't think that you'd let me play in the game without one. <laughs> I, I shamed our family. <laughs> I believe, I, it looks like I forgot to put one in my on my character sheet on roll twenty. Um, so you don't. Okay. I I guess not. So you relying if on if it's the, not on the sheet. Relying on Zuxis <laughs> and your own water finding skills to get water. Yep. Good. Oops, no that way. You have water find though, right? I do. Yeah. yeah, some, wow. yeah some some do, some don't. Yeah. Um. Yay. Okay. Right. Yeah. Good. I'll I'll continue with the calculus. How much food did we bring? Uh, food. You brought sixty pounds of food, and uh, whatever people brought as well. Each person eats about a pound a day. Pound a day, except for Scathos, yeah. who eats fifteen pounds. <laughs> How much do <laughs> I? And, 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 and that includes the the halflings. They eat, they eat their their full pound a day. Absolutely. Oh dear, gluttons. Good greedy little buggers. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm right. What about I'm right your second here. breakfast? Dar <laughs> is wondering if he's counted as one of the halflings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that seemed to be the case there. I thought you find that, that a little there. rude. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you're a big lizard. <laughs> God. You can't possibly the, the be mistaken wee ones. for one. I will call you the wee ones. <laughs> I know. But Dar is looking between like him and Thicket. Like, is this my life? <laughs> he only speaks in first person in his own head. Everyone else yeah. doesn't hear it. I no. love it. I love it. Okay. Oh god. Okay, I'll, I'll All right then. It. I'm sorry. Just to, just to finish off the calculations briefly. Yeah. How many? How many days have we been, since we got those those numbers? How many days have we been on the way? One, uh, two, three, four now. Four days on the way. Okay. Yeah. Um, we are six days out from Nibene, right? Um, okay, so this is what, right. So you got the you map said, there. You okay? said seven, seven days for the red tower. So, um, 
seven or eight days to get to, from the Red Tower from here. It's actually seven and a half days to here. Ah. Okay? And then another two days down the road. Nice. So that's nine, nine and a half days. And Basically. the dotted line, is that... That's not a road, but a sort it's, of a... It, it's an old road, um, but uh, it's not sufficient. It's not sufficiently stable or free of sand to particularly improve your uh, your movement speed. Gotcha, but it's so, packed. Could I have been doing packed, something yeah. during that time, the nine days that we've been? Trying? No. Oh. So and no, since we no, and since, no since taxi we, backsies. Yeah, and since we are now uh, 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 already past outpost three, we actually only have eight and a half days left of travel, right? Uh, yeah, you've you've come, so you've got like six and a half. So yeah, about that. Yeah, 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 that's about right. Yeah. Well, can I start right. now then? Go ahead, Lee. What does it want to do? Um, obviously, I've got a lots of uh, quadlu teeth and quadlu claws, and I've got a loads of obsidian. Can I? Yeah. I would like to turn those things into sort of like loads of like potential necklaces and bracelets, sort of stuff. Like, oh, cool! Like even the obsidian, like like craft that into quadlu. Claws and teeth to have it go next to each other, like the same kind of shapes. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I really want to cool. try and turn off see what it's worth into something more if I can. That is very cool. Thank you. Okay, um, so we can make the craft checks. Uh, oh, sorry, I've also got those gems as well that I could turn them into yes. something as well. The the best way to handle this mechanically is the amount of money you get for them depends on who you're selling it to. Yeah. So we'll, we'll have you doing that now, but we'll make the actual rolls when it comes to you actually selling it to someone. Yeah, okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you remember, like, the gem? It was opals, wasn't it? Was uh, aquam aquamarines and lapis lazuli. And it was 225? 225 as well. Yeah, 225 per person. Yeah. 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 That's what I wrote down as well on my sheet. Yep. Aquamarine and what, sorry? Lapis Lazuli. And Lapis. And, and you're basically... making it worth more, right? With your work. That's what I'm trying. That's what I'd like to do. I have my share, yeah. And well, if you have time left, you can also have a go at my share. 31. Um, yeah, it depends on how much I can make, yeah, Mark. Yeah, of course. Yep. Obviously, I'm assuming that's a lot of aquamarines, lapis, obsidian. So you're you're working on those every. That's what you're doing on the. In my time, I think is yeah. I don't have to like sleep as much as the others, and yeah, you know, I I a lot more time to myself, and I like I spend like it. and I like making shit out of it. That's really how, cool flavor. How, how much? Uh, how much? Sorry, last question on the on the supplies. How much uh, kank honey do we get per uh, per day? We've got two kanks. Yep. I will need to check that one for you. Just give because me one. Because that will that will make the food uh, so uh, go less quickly. Yeah. Just give me a second. I'll sure. have an answer for that for you. Uh, the equivalent of um, one gallon every other day. Yes, okay. And that feeds? Um, it, 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 it works as food and water. Mm -hmm. um, and you can survive on it for a number of days equal to your constitution. <laughs> yeah, so you, you can alternate, you get... basically. I can alternate... Uh... With, yeah, so right. Yes, you can. Forever. Yeah. Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you get sick. Yeah. Like, well, like when I gorge myself on baklava. Yeah. And then uh, uh, one gallon counts as one uh, food per day, or for Both. one person, one food and water. Yes, that. Okay. Good. Perfect. Thanks. Yeah. I, I'll make the calculations in, in, in peace and quiet. I won't bother you anymore. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Right, so then uh, off you set. A night of camping, a night of crafting, uh, feasting on either an alternate, alter, alternating between dried rations and nuts and uh, thick syrupy green cank honey. And once more you are underway. Breaking camp and heading south through the moons. 
a day and another and another. Three more nights of travel. I'll leave you to adjust the uh, the amounts there, Carl. Until uh, you finally spot it rising out of the dunes, or should I say the dunes half covering it and then it becoming visible, the road. It's a paltry name for a slightly raised berm of packed dirt, dirt and earth, but it's a sign at least that the Black Spine Road, the true road that runs to Nibane, is now only a couple of days away. You see that it, on the map, you can see it runs right up along here, just up nice and close to the uh, to the rocky badlands. And <clears throat> it's on an outcrop of that rock overlooking the stones that a familiar figure stands. I don't recall whether I showed you his picture before, but there you go. You recognize Aliaka, the swiftwing elf you captured and charmed. Uh -huh. He should still be charmed, right? He's not alone. There's another tall elf swathed in a, <clears throat> a loose red cloak standing next to him. A little word passes back and forth in Elven between them. Success raises a point, Rita. The taller elf mutters a question at Aliaka. He glares down, points at Thicket, and nods. The taller elf <clears throat> nods in response, raises a hand, and clenches a fist. And they like me anymore. <laughs> in in that moment, arrows are flying. The other elves, you did not see them. They stand from the edge of the, of the outcrop. Several appear from quite literally beneath the sand and rain arrows down towards your group. Wait, no, not towards your group. Towards your tanks. The insects give panicked, shrieking, clacking cries as there is the quack, 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 quack of arrow after arrow after arrow punching through their chitin. They are dead within the time it takes to register it. If you wish to engage in combat, you may. However, I'm just for the to put some uh, some context to the scene. Um, I'm going to go with uh, a map on the on the large overlay here. Mm -hmm. Way to like the far right, or. Um, so you put yourselves in the top right somewhere there. Everybody tucks into. Yeah, the yeah. I, I, let, let, let's 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 center it around here a little bit. This makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's just, like just, trying to lean just, off the map. <laughs> yes, no. just 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 for visibility, please. <laughs> Where are the dead kanks? Okay, so the dead kanks are right where you are. Gotcha. Good lord. Yeah. So you see a number of um, archers on the top here. These are the ones which these are not just the ones we're seeing, right? Yeah, and then these would appear to be spearmen. They're labeled as spearmen and, uh, and archers. Um, there's Aliaka. And there's the one in the in the red silk, some kind of commander. The elves are already knocking fresh arrows. The spearmen standing at the ready. Um. What um, do you do? You 
You lied to Aliaka, he says. We saved his life, if anything. Aliaka shakes his head. You poisoned my mind. The halfling. He did something to me. Yes, save you. They would have tortured you. You're just as bad as Caradal. Who's dead because of us? You're welcome. Yes, the tall elven commander says. Dead. His hold over the swift wings gone. We went to the tower and we saw what you did. You slew Barak Swiftwing, our chieftain. This insult against the Swiftwings cannot go unanswered. How now do you plead for your lives? We had no choice. We were just trying to stop and save you all. We beg for mercy, please. And I will have, like, you know, my arms up. You showed no mercy to Barak, my brother beneath Koranu's gaze. He was underneath the control of the guy. We couldn't. He would have. He he would have killed us. He would have killed us if we hadn't have killed him first. Like what you did to me, Aliaka says. You controlled my mind too. I healed you. You were our friend. We told the guards not to kill you. They wanted to end your life. No, worse. They wanted to sell him into slavery. That's what they do. Uh, We made sure that it didn't happen. Are those dead kanks I'm seeing on the map there? Yeah, I drew the little blood stains (laughs) and I labeled it dead kank one and dead kank two. (laughs) They have names. All that's left of them. They have names. (laughs) Don't know their names. (laughs) Dead and deader. Suxis does. She named them. You You have already decided to kill me, elf. I will not give you the satisfaction of begging. Perhaps, the elven chieftain, the elven commander says, perhaps you might buy your lives. How about mm-hmm. you replace the kanks that you've just killed and we'll let you leave? <laughs> Old man, your dotage is upon you. <clears throat> What's your price? No. No, 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 no. I'd like to use a power up, please, if I can. Exactly. <laughs> okay. You, you if, it's not, if, if it's not an overt action, go ahead. If Otherwise, I'm going to require initiative from you. If it's what, sorry? If it's not an overt action, like something obvious, like casting a spell or what have you, that's fine. If you're just going to be like, one, 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 Yep. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, telepe- telepathic projection. Telepathic projection. Yes. And I would also like to manipulate that. Okay, well, on who? On who? It is a 10-yard radius. That's 30 feet. Mm-hmm. I think you're well out of range there. Oh, okay. Can we, are we able to move closer? 10-yard diameter. Diameter, yeah. So if you want, if you want to move closer, go ahead. Um, don't forget, he will notice you doing this to his mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not. I'm not saying don't. But uh, Suxis will. Uh, yes. will we'll continue talking. Eh? What are you saying, Suxis? So you think you have the upper hand in the situation? But before we make mistakes that we cannot recover from, I would like to put this before you. Remember the power that Karadao had over you and how he made you and your whole tribe, several tribes, dance at his will. 
Who do you think has this power now? Uh, Scathis, you can oh. throw a spear uh, outside. Sorry, I'll, answer, I'll get back to you in just a second, Carl. Um, Sorry. That's quite all right. Um, the spear's range is going to be uh, six, so 180 feet. All right. Outside. It's got a, you got a bigger, better arc outside. We think you have it. And we think you're going to give it to us. Not before we will kill half your tribe. We will start with your water. Hmm? That will buy your lives. Leave it and go. Insult the swift wings further, and the price will increase. I will mm -hmm. go into uh, I will go and into we'll a protect, protected uh, negotiation with him. If you take our water, you're killing us. Mm. Uh, I, 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 Suxi steps forward and and just puts uh, puts uh, Surat. We have now formally entered negotiations. Mm. She cocks her head and steps forward. State your price, Surin. What are you willing to give for your lives? Now, you know as much as anyone else does, uh, the answer cannot be nothing. A magic stick. You need to barter my services, Zuxus. You have my permission. <laughs> that, ha that absolutely has value. Okay, then for the... Uh, for for the... <laughs> mm -hmm. We have... For, for them you, both. <laughs> we, ha we have for you... Some... Excellent, excellent poison. Okay, give me 2d6, plus your charisma. His charisma is 13. I'm going to roll for him. There's, by the way, for those who don't know, there is this cute little bartering system in the equipment chapter of, uh, of Dark Sun for when you engage in... Uh... Do we, um, where do we have Do I have it somewhere as a budget? No, you just roll 2d6 on the on the pull down at the same Ah, uh, okay, sorry. Plus your charisma. So his uh, five. So he scores an 18 initially. Which is pretty, 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 pretty terrible. <laughs> That's nine plus what is one charisma? <laughs> I have no idea at the moment. <laughs> um, <laughs> fifty. So um, I, I will win this one, I'm sure. Nine, I love that. Scathis, yeah. we're finally outnumbered. <laughs> this is like what well, your character is built for this, fighting against greater odds. Just itching with his like swords in his hand, like just oh, just on, a, just attack them, Grandy. Just attack them. And what do you want in return for these poisons? These poisons are worth two replacement kanks and leave us with our lives, trust me. <laughs> we have no kanks, we are elves. Elves do not ride. Ask another. Do they oh, carry we... water? You can carry the water that the kanks were carrying. Okay, that, that negates the round of negotiations. That's a, a, a hideous insult to the elves. His face glowers at you. We are not slaves. We have come from slavery to freedom. How dare you, old man? Second round of negotiations. Make another offer. The poisons and... And looks at Siora, a night of entertainment, of exquisite entertainment, around a dinner, a shared dinner. 
I love how you proceeded that particular offer with, I can sell you poisons. <laughs> okay. Everything is currency, man. Everything. <laughs> Dinner. Ro it won't be poisoned. Roll Carl. Promise. <laughs> shh, shh. 2d6 plus charisma, please. Okay. Yep. Can I aid him by doing, like, maybe, like, a little, like, show? Yes, that'll get them, what, get give your boobs a, out. That, that'll give you a plus one. <laughs> <laughs> Flash them, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I just do more of like a little, like, I guess... Uh, what was that one? I can't, can't see it. I see a six. Plus your charisma yeah. Yeah. is 20... 15, 21. One and plus... It, plus Okay, he scored a 21. The fact that Siora has given him a little bit of, of a flash puts your score up to 22, yes, which means you, you win. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the elf seems about to blow off your order. But then he catches the flash of smooth skin that Siora is, uh, <laughs> is revealing. And there's an unhealthy gleam comes into his eyes. Perfect. Yes. A dinner mm, with many sumptuous courses. What do you wish in return for this gift? Two kegs. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't say anything. No, no, no. You carry water. <laughs> <laughs> you carry our water, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's not learning their lesson. <laughs> <laughs> How about our freedom? Tell them to let us go. We need to bring, bring our supplies with us. Do we know of them? Do they use any kind of like silt striders, any vehicles, anything like that that we could potentially ask? They no. run. Elves they run. don't need it. They uh, just they run. I... <laughs> they, they don't want to have anything to do with kanks, or will they be able to catch us, maybe wild kanks, because we can take care of wild kanks? So, after our dinner uh, and we part ways, you point us, uh, you provide us with some wild kanks that we can then take along. Uh, and our freedom. And trust me, the poisons will be very much worth your while. Yes, because you will need to ride them. Because you do not run. You cannot run. Not like the elves. Luco. Nobody Watu. runs like the elves. Brown nose. <laughs> Jack or Tuk. So, uh, after this, a pair of the, um, of the elves go running off. Off they go. Presumably to go and find you some wild kanks. So say to Xerxes, please don't name these kinks. One final round of negotiations remains to you. She she gives you a a, a blistering look for that last <laughs> comment. You wonder whether you've made an enemy for life just there with that comment. <clears throat> Clearly, she's not up for that uh, that kind of uh, disrespect for the poor kinks. Um, one last round. Here we go. Your bond, you, 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 you have, uh, you have argued for kanks, right? Yes. You, they, they still want your water. They still want our water. Yeah, he said the base price for him is your water. You come back with a negotiation saying, um, "Okay, well, look, let's have give you poisons and a nice dinner, and you'll get us kanks." That his his initial address of yes, and you'll give us your fucking water, has not been answered. Has not been answered. Yeah. You can have so you, have, you have one round remaining. Yeah. Zuxis, so he can have my water. You have plenty of gems, don't you? You know yeah. full well that he will be wanting. All of your water. Yeah, no, exactly. It's that's exactly what he wants. So we we want the, that um, want that back. That's it's very simple. Yeah. Um, I 
How about we serve water at the dinner? Yeah. Yeah, we, we provide the dinner in exchange for us keeping the rest of our water. So you will serve them? Yes. I almost okay. want to poke and prod Scathis into attacking. Let's see. Yeah, me too. Let's see. <laughs> Scathis wants to. He wants to. Look, you all become a big, big, become pin cushions if that happens. It's not not worth it. Trust me. Uh, do I want to risk a charisma point? If you're going to make the offer, make the offer, Carl. This is the offer. We can, you can okay. also invite them to enjoy the services of the spa. All right, let's roll. <clears throat> okay, so that's a 13, 14. You got a 17 there. You should easily be able to beat that. Yep. And oh I my do. goodness. Yep. <clears throat> easily. You will serve at our table, the commander says. Yes. You will fetch water and clean plates and prepare food and provide entertainment for my war band. We will. Yes. This is recompense for the death of Barak Swiftwing, for the insult which you made against my tribe and for the wrong down to Ali Arka here. I, Vandaru Swiftwing, accept. And he spits on his hand. Zuxis as well, spits on her claw. Strides down. And now shakes. Skathis. <laughs> Strike while the iron is hot. Wait till they're like, I don't know, their guards down. I don't know. <laughs> Wait a we little. We should. We should totally poison the food. <laughs> uh, we will see exactly how a feast with the elves pans out <laughs> after the break. We are going to step away, and I presume there's going to be some plotting, and then afterwards more murder. <laughs> <laughs> we shall see you shortly. The tent is full of merrymaking, the sound of elves lifting their voice in song in accompaniment to the alluring and seductive dances of Siora, formerly courtesan of Uruk. Siora, you make your way up and down the tent, hips swaying, feet stamping in time, the elves clapping their hands and thumping their feet against the ground in, uh, in keeping to the rhythm of your dance. Two tents they've erected, a great open-sided affair, the sand covered in thick carpets with low seating all around, tables roughly and quickly constructed from portable materials the elves have been carrying with them. And then off to one side, uh, the chieftain's tent, where during the preparations, a certain Josal chameleon assassin has squirreled himself away unseen and out of sight, blending in with the hanging silks and carpets that bedeck the floor. <laughs> Food you have prepared from what rations you are able to bring with you and that which has been given you by the elves. They play close attention to your preparations, suspicious of poison being placed into their meals. Um, if only they knew that you were too low level for injected poisons, they shouldn't be panicking. But there you go. <coughs> Nevertheless, you work assiduously over a couple of hours to prepare a decent meal of zatal stew, uh, along with baked nuts and dried beef, salted and spiced as best you are able. And then you serve at their pleasure bringing water when they slam their hands upon the table, demanding it, and snap their fingers arrogantly, and, oh, I appear to have spilled my plate. Get me another one. And this goes on for a, uh, a rather considerable amount of time. 
Um, uh, Siora, anything in particular, any particular details you wish to add to your dance before we proceed? Um, so it's the Starlight Pageant dance with extra seduction kind of sprinkled in. Um, (laughs) She will try to make her way rounds to give special attention to each person at the table, making Mm. eye contact, but specifically the leader. Um, She'll show great favor to him, maybe even personally personally pouring his uh, drinks and things like that. Um, And... Once everyone seems to be, you know, kind of distracted by the music, uh, maybe they've relaxed a little bit. Um, I'd like to lean over to, uh, I lean over the table towards the leader and um, just kind of whisper in his ear, would you like to go somewhere more private? And then I'll lean back and extend a hand out to him. And you've particularly donned your courtesan. I'm wearing uh, my outfit of seduction. (laughs) (laughs) Seduction plus three. Okay, cool. I also have uh, these uh, fabric covers on my widow's blades, so they look like fans as opposed to actual weaponry. Nice, nice. Um, Can you make me a fast talk check, please? It's proficiency on your sheet. Gosh, if I fail this, I'm going to scream. It's going to be so embarrassing, really. It's going to be like when you try to push that guy in the hole. Don't. Do, I, I wake at night thinking about that. Don't even. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. Is that good? Is that that's, what I want? That's a completely safe roll. Um, Ooh, okay. <laughs> with so with proficiency checks, you want as high the as The plan is can, on. Let's go. As high as, you can, ahead. as high as you can get, but no higher than your ability score. A one is a perfectly safe roll. It's not the most artful suggestion. Um, perhaps that um, that plays into his arrogance, that it's just quite quite a an obvious and unsubtle invitation. So much that he turns around and he's like, oh, a little bit of private time for me and the, uh, the human woman, eh? Perhaps we will be seeing if half elves can run with us next season, eh? <laughs> and then he kind of wipes a huge amount of broy off his face and allows himself to be, um, to be led from the chamber. I masterfully hide my disgust of years of practice. (laughs) Yes, exactly. Um, (laughs) So he makes a he makes a big song and dance about 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 being led away to his inevitable death. Uh, Sorry, to his uh, inevitable sexy time, Um, and his uh, the elven warriors hoot and cheer and uh, bash their drinking horns against the table, and immediately demand more broy and uh, more uh, more spiced meat and ensure that the rest of you are running back and forward, left and right, to um, to tend to them. Um, Suxus, I noticed that you've got your token outside the tent. Is that because you're not working? Uh, it's because she's preparing the food and making the plates le- uh, ready to order. So, so there's, has a, to... right, there's a big cooking station set up yes. outside there. Oh, okay, great, great, really nice. Okay, so you're, I don't suppose lizards sweat, do they? But anyway, no. you're working hard. Over the uh, and I can handle the heat, so, so yeah, yeah, sprinkling exactly. a bit of a few spider legs. Yeah, um, this elf here keeps trying to make conversation with you, he's clearly um, bored and fed up of being on the outside. Um, but yeah, I mean, every now and then he tries to snatch a little bit of food off the uh, off the barbecue, as it were, while you're while you're working away. Um, within the tent itself, apart from apart from Darjay, which we'll get to you shortly, uh, the rest of you, Scathis, Thicket, Senex. Um, you, the three of you are basically being run off your feet in there. Um, Thicket, you are being condescended to like you've never been before. Lots of patting on the head and work harder, little fellow. And Scathis has plenty of, well, you're a big one. Hey, do you taste as good as Inix or uh, are you a little, bit, a little bit rougher on the stomach, eh? <laughs> rougher on the stomach. Get it? No, does no one get that? <laughs> I, I oblige the the role uh, with to perfection. I'm used to serving people at the spa, yes, so uh, I, I I settle into that role of yes, yes, of course, of yes, yes, uh, just serving them and let it, letting them live in the delusion that their lives are safe. How does Scathis manage to get through this evening without without murdering people? Uh, well, there's no guarantee yet that he does. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> he, he is he's very begrudging, very uh he, he tries to say as little as possible because anything would come out as an insult or a challenge yeah. of some sort. Uh so he does as he is asked, but not nicely. Um if he is asked to get food, he will take it and slam it down in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> does does, does yeah. Sixes realize the, this? The elves, the elves seem to enjoy this even more. The fact that you're clearly visibly upset, uh, uh, they think it's absolutely fucking delightful. Um, Senex, likewise, uh, how, are you, how are you playing this? Oh, um, yeah, I'm just sort of like playing into the old man thing, you know? Like, uh, but knowing that the guy's about to walk out and knowing that the, the, the time is ticking down, I am ready in my first action. Okay. All right. By I way, assume we are not allowed to bring our... Sorry, say that again? Wait, there's three voices at once. Sorry. Sorry, I was just saying, I assume we are not allowed to bring our weapons. We are uh, unarmed. Um, no, though, you have those with you. The elves, the elves see themselves as, as, as a superior force. Um, they're not willing to show cowardice. The fact that they're asking you to put your weapons to one side makes them look weak. Um, so they have... They have no immediate desire to uh, mm. to let themselves be, um, yeah, be embarrassed in that way. Uh, Zuxis uh, shouts uh, uh, sorrowing words of encouragement to Scathis, uh, well aware <laughs> that his temper is being massively frayed here. <laughs> um, uh, that just keep in mind we're almost there, and then you get to kill them all. Okay. Uh, Success, I have you as a 20 on the initiative count. That can't be right, can it? And that it is correct because that's including the the the, <coughs> the uh, heavy crossbow. Okay, right. Wow. Yeah, so that's... I rolled a 10 and that's 10. <laughs> I don't think, 20. I, I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's really quite, that's really quite cool. Sorry, Darje, <laughs> Darje, you are crouched low in the shadows of the chieftain's tent. Um, well, I mean, you can hear him coming uh, as uh, he accompanies oh, Siora. He's to say that he's embarrassing himself would be an understatement. <laughs> now that he's away from his uh, from his tribe mates, he has begun a, a lengthy uh, explanation uh, of his various prowess in battle, his skill as a leader, how he should have been chieftain. That mm. if it were him leading the Swift Wings, Karadar would never have taken control of their minds. That Barak was an embarrassment, and shortly. Siora will see exactly why it is that he is the next in line for chieftain of this tribe. Uh-huh. I, uh, I, I agree with everything he says and I just uh, flourish him with, with compliments and all sorts of things. Even hinting that maybe maybe I could stay, you know, that kind of thing. Like yeah. she's full on just doing it. Um, and <laughs> she does grow a little impatient as she's like trying to get him to like lay down and he's just like oh and I'm the best and everything she's like uh -huh, okay <laughs> <laughs> um but on, very subtly down, die now yep 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 just you just put your back right there um, okay. do, you, do you see these scars that one there the one above the shoulder blade do you know how I got that that was a Braxat wow if you um if you'd like if you Want to lay on your front? I could give you a massage. Ah, yes, yes. That the tensions of leadership of my, my my neck is just right here. It's uh, such it's a heavy, heavy burden to carry. But you carry I, I, it I'm so well. I'm glad you understand that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> Much <he's>... deserving. <laughs> <laughs> and it stretches himself. Are you going to use oil? Of course. Yes. Yeah, there's, of course. there's some over there by the. Thank you. Because he has that ready. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case. I, I did not at all suspect that this might happen. <laughs> yeah, they were going out to get kanks. He's like, could you get oil as well? It's, <laughs> it's perfumed. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. And I, I get up to go get it, and I try and spot Dajay in the room, but Dajay's too good at it that I'm like, can't see I'm just knows. hoping that they are in here. <laughs> and, um... I, I get him uh, ready. I've got him kind of like, I'm sat on his back. He's pinned down as I massage him. And um, 
I think we probably set up like a code word of like when I say now just relax is when it's like time to attack. So she's just like, she's got the perfumed oil, she's giving a massage and she goes, now just relax. And then she waits very <laughs> like, please be in here. <laughs> Have our kenks turned up yet? Yes. So Darje? Yes. Now Darje, from his position on the pillow in front of this guy, will leap out and <laughs> stab him straight in the back. Okay, go ahead. Oh, this scar where the Brexit And that is <laughs> that's just a, a, a hit on the on the, with the, on the with dagger. The plus plus eight to hit though. Yep. Plus eight though, yeah. Plus nine. This better work. Plus his armor class his armor class is actually at the moment it's ten because he can't use any of his decks or any of his bonuses. And you just hit him! Fantastic! Yes! It's really his armor is on the team, the massage. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay, and yeah, so quite literally, you realize that he's been sitting in front of you on the pillow the entire time. Rises up, wham! Plunges the obsidian bag dagger right down um, the between Vodanu's uh, shoulder blades. The commander of the tribe gives a horrified shriek and uh, he was a saving throw against poison. Come on, foul. Come on. A save! Ah! Oh no. What's the damage on a save? 20. Uh, it's 20. Plus, plus the weapon. Plus weapon, which I need to roll still. Okay, roll, roll damage for the weapon. Oh, single point. Dude. Are you serious? May I uh, then backstab myself? Are you serious? Not myself, but like also to him. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Um, I very quickly, uh, like as I'm reaching for more oil, I will um, grab my my widow's blades. And I think at this I point will... the need for deception is over. Yeah, we're beyond the point of reaching for oil. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I mean like before Darje attacked, prior. I'm like yeah. just in Dar case. Darje's got another um, attack. Did you get two as a dagger? No, not in matter. You didn't. No. Oh, is it not? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's only thrown. Hit. Um, and I would also get offhand and prongs. Um, he's a small medium, I take it? Yes, he is, yeah. So two hit. Um, your, your, ba your backstab multiplier is what? Two at the moment or three, Darje? Um, I th it should, should say on the sheet there. D does I'll it? Oh, uh, sorry, I've got it right. Whereabouts? Here. It's two. Does that include oh, the poison? Okay. No. Okay. Oh. Uh, I also, oh, okay. do All I right. get any bonus damage from it also being a backstab, or? Yeah, double damage on the on the first one, so that's eight. Eight, so, so nine total. Yeah, As I okay. slice uh, the second one, I don't quite hit, but then the prongs just come out of the, the Widow's Blade and just shoom, into his back. His shriek is cut off immediately as stab, 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 the pair of you quite literally stab him to death on what he was hoping to be his love bed. It turns out <laughs> to be his death bed. And nice. Vidanu, commander of the Swiftwing Elves, is slain in his own tent. You. Yeah. So how loud was his shriek? Do, you, do, we, do, we, do, do we think it others heard? <laughs> um, this guy here certainly did. And uh, he gives a this yell, a alarm! Um, but okay, surprise round is over. Siora, you're up. All right. Um, the alarm has been sounded. I will um, hide in shadows if possible. Um, Roll for that. No, it's in rogue. My bad. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Stay with me. Wow. I suck. Um, <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> um, I will... Um, You've probably got sprays of blood all over you from where you stabbed him in the neck, so yeah, right? that's going to give you away a little bit. Ah, oh, dang. So, uh, if I was to go behind this guy here, would I be able to backstab him if he's facing inward, or is he going to be... Uh, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes. Because you Wonderful. have you have uh, initiative over them. Um, they know battles around, but they don't know that you're uh, that you're involved yet. So you could scoot up and take a backstab against him. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, I would like to try and do that. I, I sprint from the tent, run out. His armor class is twelve. That's a hit. 
perfect. So I will also go for the prongs. Um, boom, pow. Uh, the prongs don't work, but I do four, five, six um, damage as I, I run behind him um, in my saucy outfit covered <laughs> in blood um, as I just start uh, trying to shred into his back. Okay. Um, he spins around to face you as uh, blood pouring out the side of his body. You've done a solid injury to him. Um, and he's kind of now yelling an alarm. But um, yeah, it's a little bit too late for that. Um, the archers, so these are the sort of the yellowish looking tokens. Um, they are much faster on their feet than the spearmen. Their finely honed agility and reflexes stands them in good stead. And uh, they grab, grab, grab for their for the weapons beside them. Um, one of them, sh they're shouting in Elven. Those of you who have any understanding of Elven could probably pick up that it's various things along the lines of treachery, treachery, treachery. Um, at point blank range, thicket. This one yeah. right here takes a shot. It takes shots at you. Okay. With his uh, with his bone bow. I try and dodge. Strike. I guess. Strike. Uh, those are both misses. Um, the arrows thud into the carpet beside you. Um, the elf is unable to, uh, to, to, to land a shot against you. Um, this one here steps out the side of the tent and shoots at Siora. Arrows hurtle toward you, Siora. In the dark, his uh, senses are briefly confounded as his eyes are adjusting to the gloom. They whistle past you. Um, striking nowhere. This one moves up to his side and tries to put a pair of arrows into Senex. Bastard, I'm just an old man. Not for long. <laughs> uh, likewise, however, Fortune is with you and the... My goodness. The great Elven Archer is unable to take a shot. He runs this one right up to the, to the middle of the tent and fires, trying to shoot into melee to hit Scathis. Arrows fly through the darkness. However, yet again, their aim is not true. Senex. I offered you all a chance to live. I will now use my telepathic projection and change their hatred into love. <laughs> okay, that's that's. If you look at the description of the power, it's not gonna can't change emotions that strongly. You can only well, make slight natural changes. Twenty, you can. Manipulation. Oh, right. So, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I rolled earlier. Can I take that roll? No. Didn't think so. Which is why I've already clicked it. <laughs> oh, okay. natural one. Okay. No. So the energies fail to manifest for you, Scathis. And I head out and hide. All right. Mark, sorry, real quick, can you reorder the the um, initiative thing? Because I'm, yeah, there you go. Thank you. All right, Mark. So I have to ask for my uh, <clears throat> since Zuxus and Darge, is Darge in particular is gone. Uh, do we count as outnumbered two to one or just outnumbered? Two to one. All right. Uh, one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two. Yeah, there's twelve. So yeah. Scathis grins, draws his sword. <laughs> and, uh, it seems it is now my turn to entertain you all with a dance. And um, <laughs> <laughs> and then begins the slaughter. <laughs> and then begins I the did. slaughter. Don't, uh, don't do the monologue will... and then get an actual one like I did. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to. Uh, I guess he'll attack the Attack Aliaka. Okay. <laughs> and the ungrateful you thought, shit. You thought you were yeah. going to be a recurring NPC. Jokes ha -ha. on you. <laughs> Woozer. <laughs> yeah, Aliaka has uh, armor class 17. Okay, oh, no, so... That's, no, sorry. 15. That's a mistake. 15. So, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I think I rolled general action. If I attacked with a mandible sword, it will bring me down to 10. If I don't take my shield and I attack with claws instead, that would put me at nine. So, so it would be the, sa uh, the same as him. We'd be on the yeah. same initiative, yeah. 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 So, all right. So you're just going at him with claws and, oh, okay. 
The first claw misses. You swing sideways. You rake at the edge of the tent. All right, another claw. Is he still sitting down? Another miss. So technically, these are these would be fifteens, right? Because of because of I'm outnumbered. So plus two attack. Yes, plus yes. Two damage. So those are both hits. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so um, this is a fantastic kit uh, that's based on, like, um, uh, protagonists from 1980s sword and sorcery films. And the more opponents they have, the better they get. Oh, okay, right. You kill him. <laughs> you, <laughs> I kill you, him outright. <laughs> yes, you kill him outright. The first one lays his chest clean open. Um, he staggers, screaming, blood pouring from his body. And the second claw quite literally just, well, I mean, he may die uh, die in a manner of your choosing. S say something fancy, like, this time we're not friends or something. <laughs> if he may die in a manner of my choosing, I would like to demoralize everyone else as much as possible by reaching into that first open chest wound and ripping something out. Okay, right. You're not sure what it is, but it's quivering and wet and red. Um, around you, screams uh, fill the tent uh, as the elves realize um, that I have sorely uh, underestimated their dinner guests. Um, but you're still and not done. Dinner. You, you have another couple of attacks coming, I believe. I have another couple. Yeah, I'll use my tail razor on this guy below me that's been backstabbed. Yep, him. Yep. Ooh. It whirls through the air, buries itself in his torso. For eight and, damage. And he goes down, gutted by the uh, whirling strike. And in a bloodlusted frenzy, I run down for my last attack as I bite this man below me. Yep. Damn. Nice, your jaws close around his face. Aye. Only one damage, though. Okay. Do, do you get a bonus of damage for the um, for the? Kit? I do. I do. Yes. So that's it's plus that's, two attack and plus the damage. So th three. Yep. Okay. Um, he pulls himself away. Half of his face comes away, bone exposed, eyes staring in one naked socket, screaming in horror at the terrible injury you've done to him, knowing his death is upon him. Darje. Yes. Um, yes. I'm going to take <laughs> myself out of the uh, tent now. I believe I can make it up here, right? Easily. Yeah, you can go pretty Fairly, much in like, Easily. Yeah. yeah. Um, and from there, I'm going to shoot at uh, this guy. If I can, I would like to use the last you, two doses can you, of. Can you? Sorry, can you ping him again? I didn't see that. Yeah. These these two guys here. Yep, yep. Yeah. Um, if possible, I would like to use the Marwan slime, the last two doses on these two shots with my short bow. Um, and I'm not sure, but if I can, I would like to split the shots between the two of them that are both yep. standing there. Absolutely possible. All right. So that let me let me let me do that. Hit. Oh no! Wait. Sorry. That's general action. Hit. Hit. Both hit, yes. The arrows fly across, striking one, then the other. These are the poisoned ones. Yeah, they both have to save. Yeah, there's no need. They don't have. They don't even have anywhere near as many hit points. There's 20, 20 on a save, yeah. 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 Gargling and frothing from the malwern slime that is now coursing through their systems, both elves fall, horrified and dead upon the sand. And then uh, I run one, here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, not quite ready for morale checks on the on the part of the enemy yet. Um, Success, this spearman charges you, throws down the piece of meat he's been he's been chewing on, uh, readies his weapon, and comes hurtling at you. Stabs with an outheld blade. That's going to be a hit, Success. You are only armor class 13. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, obsidian-ended spear bites deep. For an entire point of damage. Eh, not too deep. <laughs> it's quite it's deep. It's a flesh wound. It clips your toe. <laughs> it clips your toe, yeah. It's a bit sore. <laughs> He's like, <"Ugh." laughs> I should have put it a lot worse. Um, these two run in to flank you, Thicket. 
and similarly begins stabbing. No, not my little buddy. One, two. <laughs> one, one misses. Uh, the other manages to land a blow, however, and uh, Thicket the Spear bites you for four damage. Yay. You bastard. That's like all yeah, of his health. That hurt a bit more because you've got bigger toes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I... <laughs> Oh, this also, one also you're not as thick skinned as I am, I suppose. Runs up to assist his companion, and the two of them together attempt to take out the Surin. <laughs> uh, good luck with that. Really, go home and rethink your lives. Um, stab, stab. Not even close. At belly, even f- registers upon your uh, thick Surin hide. Uh, thicket. Okay, I'm going to run over to here. I have rapid retreat. They can't attack me. Yeah. And I'm going to actually. It's better to do it yeah no here uh here and i cast uh sorry here wyvern watch okay onto the ground 10 foot radius around me casting time is five it's included in the in the mm-hmm. in the initiative mm-hmm. okay um and anybody who crosses the boundary has to make a saving throw uh, or be uh, rendered catatonic, I believe. Um, where is this? Button? Okay. Um, so uh, no, it's basically they're paralyzed. If they if uh, they have to save they it, save versus spell, or be paralyzed for one round per level of the caster. So for four rounds. Okay. Um, and be- because it's at night, it's invisible. It's in completely invisible. Yeah. Okay. So good. So success. While you've been being stabbed, you've been busy kind of loading up your crossbow. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, she, she, he, he stabs her, and she, she swivels her, uh, her her crossbow uh, in return, and point blank just bangs. Go. Oh, a hit! Give me damage. Nice. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> His body quite literally <laughs> flies back from the impact and he's on the ground, the quarrel sticking up, still quivering out of his chest um, by the time he's dead. That's awesome. That is really freaking awesome. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, and she will, mo- she will move then towards the group. Yes, let's have an ish, please. Okay. And I can close Aliaka and the commander uh, because they're dead. <laughs> Have we all rolled? Uh, yeah. Did you roll another 10, Carl? No, no, I haven't rolled yet, sorry. I'm busy. Uh, but, 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 here we go. There we go. Come I on. haven't rolled yet either. Hold on. Another uh, 10. Another 10. You did roll another 10. Well you did. <laughs> <laughs> Good of me. <laughs> At least I'm consistent. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, morale checks from these guys here, actually. Now they've lost well over half their number. Uh... Okay. Uh, that's a pass on the, uh, the 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 archers and the spearmen. That's a fail. Okay, oh so um, the uh, the spearmen look around, snapping and shouting, screaming in Elven. And unless anyone stops them, these guys are fleeing the field of battle. These ones all get, can get away out here and actually will be able to get away um, in fairly rapid order due to their high movement rate. This one here, um, Skathis and Darje, you guys get attack of opportunity against as he runs. Yeah. Would you like the honors? If you don't mind. By all means, go Oh, ahead. nice. Hit. 
Oh, dear, dear. Yeah. Eight damage. He barely gets one or two steps away before you bring him down with a savage claw slash. Senex. Uh, okay, so seeing that there's just the two archers. Yeah, get the uh, ones that are running away. The what, sorry? Get the ones that are running away. I can't do anything really. Uh... Well, they're okay. gone these, now. These you, can archers get, you can make them come back. These archers get a shot as well. Yeah, yeah, they're before me. So. Yeah, they are. These two back up and they take shots at, uh, at Scathis. Uh, shot, shot. Shot, shot. Both misses. One of them comes close, pings off your uh, off your armor, but fails to penetrate. Uh, go ahead, Senex. Uh, uh, the one that's one of the ones that's running away. Can I still reach them with an ego whip? How I don't know how far away they are. Uh, they've used their full movement this round, so they are about they're two hundred feet away in clearing. Oh Jesus! Uh, I don't think ego they're, whip would go that far. No, they're elves. Check. 120 yards. Uh, yes, so they're, they're, they're in range. If you want to ego whip one of them. I'll just ego whip one of them. Did it, did it, go. <clears throat> okay, cool. 23. Yeah, so he is stunned for one round. All right, nice. so yeah, his companions leave him behind as he uh, collapses on the side of the dune, shaking his head at the sonic attack that's momentarily uh, neutralized him. Uh, Scathis. All right, uh, let's see. I'm going to lunge at the archers after finally drawing my weapons instead of just using claws and teeth. Yeah, because, you know, your claws and teeth don't do enough damage. Yeah, they've been so <laughs> bad today. Yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> Kills them with a twig. <laughs> yeah, he did that with the, with the lava elemental already. Oh my god, okay. Right, that's seven damage against... Yep, yeah, you tear this the first guy to pieces okay. with a slew from the mandible sword. Likewise a hit. He won't be lasting long. Ten. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right. Yep, so he just swings at that guy and then with the uh, uh, other side, oh, if I could, I'd like to actually just completely split his head in half. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It slides clear off. Um, cerebellum falls out. He ends his life quivering in a pool of grey and crimson. I let out a sigh. Sheath my weapons, and then on one of the dead bodies still sat in their chairs, I'm gonna sit on their lap, cross my legs onto the Whip. table, and just grab some of the meat that they hadn't finished and just start eating with <laughs> my legs Ooh. crossed. Darje comes over we're, to the we're, table we're not, and sits we're, we're, in front we're not of done. You. We're not done. We got two guys still running. Try and get, I don't see them on the map shoot. anymore. No, but we can. We they they ran this around. So uh, if you have a, a bow, they should still be no, in I range. Just, right? I just stunned one. So. Okay, if if I if I, well, I'll do that after I shoot him. <laughs> Could I uh, um catch up to them, or am I not fast enough? Oh, you're fast Let enough. Do you... No, Jay is really fast. You might be able to. Yeah, you're you the same speed. That. And I'm I'm presuming they're still within range of a of a, of a bow. Oh, RJ, you could catch them. Okay. So if if uh, someone deals with the one that's currently stunned, I will chase after the other two. Try and shoot the stunned one. I don't know if that hits, though. It'll be an automatic hit on him. Wonderful. It's like a little... I, I can go for one of the other ones. Feral rock... Feral, uh, uh... No, uh, success, you're nowhere near fast enough to catch them. No, I've got to shoot, shoot them with, with, with range, a... right? Uh, they, uh, yeah, take a shot. Minus five. Have you ever been chased by a dog before? This is what it's going to be like. A little dog running behind them. Imagine there's a purple terrier right behind <laughs> yeah. you. More like, like a, a super raptor. fast one. 
It's like Jurassic Park with a yeah, little raptor. Little running raptor running running off. Off. Yeah. Never mind. I miss. Okay. Um, there's no need to roll for what happens next. Darje, um, you may again describe to me the manner in which these these two elves meet at the end on the dunes. Like, it's getting closer! It's getting closer! <laughs> Well, I think I think Darje, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like these little legs. I think the 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 dust cloud that he's kicking up behind him would um, obscure his approach, uh, yeah. and then out from uh, the the dust, uh, a face, the fans, and then the claws, uh, and both of them uh, die, choking on their own blood. And this is the last thing they see you there. <laughs> No, that is over. Except could not be like the scene out yes. of like Jurassic Park. Oh, <laughs> very much. You're no, not too listen, bad. Anytime, anytime you want to think about how Darje is killing someone, think of that scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very yeah. accurate. Yeah. <laughs> now I sit on the lap of the corpse, cross my legs on the desk, and then start eating their stuff. <laughs> and, and, and now I ask for treats. Yes. Yes. Scarfus is already looting bodies. He looks back at uh, Siora and says. What did you think of my dance, milk blood? I thought it was good, but this elf, and he picks up, he sort of picks up the limp body of the one whose head he cut in half, is of two minds about it, and then drops him again. <laughs> my God. I lift up one of the drinks and just kind of like toast him to that. Like, just kind of like... Wow. So surrounded by a scene of absolute slaughter. I mean, there is blood sprayed up the walls of the tent, body parts, dismembered elves, um, people slumped into the meal. Of course, the uh, the stabbed and dead body of the commander in his tent. Uh, it is a charnel house around you. Looting. I'm yeah, and phased, uh, took this, uh, takes stock of the supplies and of the the loot that is uh, lots of looting available. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, where are we here. Uh... That was a good trade. We have two kanks back. We have extra water, more treasures, and no one's hurt. Is anyone right. injured? So you loot a total in monetarily wise of uh, 73 ceramic pieces. Nice. Just pocket change from across the uh, uh, across the individuals in the elves. Um, in the chieftain's tent, um, there's his oil collection and some fine pieces of, uh, of hardwood from the Crescent Forest in the forms of little stools and bits of furniture and what have you um, that can easily be folded up and compacted and carried around. Um, that's worth around 200 ceramics each. Nice. An 11 nice. thong. Each as in each person would get 200? No. No, each of the items is 200. All right, and how, no, no, how many in, items is... In total. Oh, so oh okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Um, as for the armor that they're wearing, the leather armor is completely ruined. You're not getting any uh, any value out of that, given the uh, given what's been any done to it. better weapons? Um, so yeah, so um, where were we here? There, there are six obsidian spears. I suppose we give those to uh, Scarthys. Yeah, I'd like at least a couple of those. Yeah, you, you can have them all because you throw a lot of them. Six longbows. Those will sell, right? Th those, those, those are worth money. Those are worth yeah. uh, seventy-five ceramics each. Exactly. Um, and then a dozen. They shot a few. Let's say ten. And 60 bone arrows. Nice. Ooh. Okay, nice. well, I'd like to take at least 10 of those. What's mm -hmm. the maximum of bone arrows can I carry? Uh, it's... You can carry, we've established this in the past. Uh, I don't know if it's in this game, but in some games. Uh, you can carry two quivers without encumbering yourself. And... This is for a uh, for short bow or long bow. Flight. Th these are flight arrows, so a dozen. So the most most you can carry is twenty four. 
Oh, okay, so I, I've been carrying 30 bone arrows, so I should really lower that. To right, so Sior, I'm, I'm afraid Siora explodes from uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, arrow uh, overload. You've ruined I, it. I, I don't it's think the space time continuum. If it helps, There's I haven't even fired any now. bone arrows. There's I've been using my shield arrows. <laughs> so 24 is my maximum. I can yeah, carry yeah, bone yeah, arrows. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, uh, we'll we'll put the 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 ones that you didn't uh, be, were able to bring along. We we'll put them in the in the pile that we're going to be sell selling. Oh no, I'll I'll just take them because I I need some still. I'm going to sure. run out of steel flight okay. arrows eventually. Go for uh, go for the twenty four if you want. Yeah. Okay. Um, food and water. Each elf is carrying two days food and two days water. And you Perfect. can see from from the types of uh, of food and water uh, the food that it is they're they're hunting and scavenging on the route, and they each carry two gallons each, um, because to carry more would slow them down, and they they're presumably using their water finding skills. So uh, 12, 13, 14, uh, times two, uh, twenty eight more gallons of water. Perfect. And, How many tanks did they bring? Two. Two. I'm assuming we use some water during the feeding. <laughs> yeah, because they all drank. Yeah, yeah. But we have we have now more than enough water to actually make it back to Nibbane. So. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, unless someone else shoots our kanks. Well, yeah. So if we if we sell the long bows, uh, sell the stuff from the guys' um, tent. And uh, divvy up the coins. That is a hundred and twenty point five ceramics each. I, 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 I will make first. The, I will make, make the calculations, and I will make the sale. We'll yeah, get you an extra, get, an extra get percentage extra. as well. Yeah. Should get about get about a price for being for being a trader. Yeah. Okay. Well, then you do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here on this corpse and drink my wine. Um, um I will actually probably have to uh, load you guys up to the the brink of your uh, your carrying capacity to get all the stuff uh, back uh, to Nibine. Are you cool with that? While uh, they're um, looting the bodies and you know pillaging and doing all the the things. Yes. Um, can I um go from body to body and um, give them the equivalent of last rites. Yes, you can say a prayer to the elements in the cosmos and send their souls to their final uh, <clears throat> final destination in the grey. Okay, well I will, I will do that with ash from the fire. Um, okay. And uh, then I'll uh, turn to my companions uh, and look if anyone's injured. Uh, I think, think I'm on the only one, actually. I was going to say, did I think you're probably I, the only I, one. I lost one hit point. Okay, well, I can, I can all the ones, all the, the no, small... No, it's here. Oh, it's okay. here. here yeah. <laughs> all, the small, all the small hit point losses we can treat with healing. Yep, uh, no problem. Uh, um, so, um, then... Uh, after that, um, I suppose uh, Zuxis is going to befriend the, the R2 Kanks. Yes. And then uh, prepare them and, and, and load them up for the travel. Okay, so um, they will not take riders. No. They're, they're wild, even though they're friendly to you, they're, they're wild. However, you are able to persuade them to, uh, to carry objects on their back. They won't take living things. <clears throat> Which will slow us down because I'm. That means we'll move at my speed. Um, um, I, I I look I look plaintively at at, at Scartis. What is what is Zuxis wanting? I think I, I think, think he, he wants, wants you to give she wants back. to carry me because I am slow. <sighs> he thinks about feet. it. He kneels down. Get on. Are we leaving? You want to stay? No, but I thought we were still looting. Well, it's night. We can walk a little bit more, and then we can. No, we we we, we looted, right? Yes, the looting's done. Oh, we already yes, looted. Oh, okay. Presumably, well, in that case, any... I'll I, I will I will uh, 
gingerly cr- clamber onto Scathis's back. So are you making may also stay ate as well? Like we've eaten and drank whatever they had left. So yes, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you made the dinner, so you know. I mean, it's only yeah, for well eat. Yes, eat our fill and drink our fill. That's true. Yeah. yeah. If anyone asks me, you are rations. <laughs> we are what? <laughs> no, he's talking specifically to you. <laughs> that's, his ex- <laughs> that's his excuse for why he's letting a halfling ride his back if anyone catches them. Your rations. Oh, rations. Yep. And he's keeping you fresh by keeping you alive. <clears throat> Funny, I never had that issue. Anyway. <laughs> Let us go. Um, I load everybody up to the max, so we... Uh... I would prefer to be a little less than the max, just so that I can be a fast scout. Well, make make sure that whatever you have, you can drop it so that you can then be a fast scout then, because we need all the carry capacity to get the stuff out of here. Okay. The downside of, of Scath is carrying me is that that in, that reduces our carrying capacity. We can we can go a little bit slower. How much would that actually weigh layers if we would go at the, at the, the halfling speed? About half your half your speed. Yeah, but exactly where are we now? Uh, I'll, let me put the map up. Mark, with insect mind and hive mind, is it possible for me to convince them to carry thicket? Or allow Thicket to... No. No. No, No, you would need an actual animal friendship spell or yeah. something something like that. I so like that. Basically, basically, you need the equivalent of a charm. I, I have that. Yeah, so do I. It's actually, that's what I thought that we were going to be doing, uh, Mark. No, I, I thought, thought you were just using, using a proficiency. I, no, I, no, no. I'm, I'm using the spell. Animal. No, if you, want to cast, if you want to cast a spell, then, uh, then yeah. that's fine. Let me know. And um, It takes an hour to do, but... Yeah. We do we we do two uh, animal friendship spells and then we've got two kanks that are our friends. Okay. Um, by the way, so answer your question. The, the maps up on uh, on roll twenty. You are here just at the beginning of the uh, of the old road. The old. That's pretty much where they ambushed you. But okay, mm-hmm. good. But it it, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, ticket it, whether um, the kank carries you or Scatus carries you. It's just weight that is carried. See, it's, it doesn't matter who, who, who of the two carries you. We're, I guess. we're fully loading each other up. It probably matters to Scathis. Sure. That's, six, that's 65 pounds of pure halfling flesh. We'll be fine. He can carry you easily. Your hobbit beefcake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, he's, he's quite He's quite trim. <laughs> Very well then, the last leg of your journey lies ahead of you. Once you are on the packed desert road these last few days and I make them uh, another two to the Black Spine Road and then your speed can really pick up as you pass down through the Black Spine Gap and to Nibane itself. Leaving the great sandy wastes behind you. The Black Spine Mountains receding from view on the left-hand side. Ahead of you, the landscape begins to change. Before too long, you actually reach the Black Spine Road itself. An actual road of flat flagstones curving its way down from the northern cities the Black Spine Gap and toward Nibane. You pass by travelers and traders. Fairly soon you find yourself walking in the wake of a caravan of mine goods, raw ore quarried from mines in the Black Spine Mountains. And it's in their dust train <clears throat> with your silters pulled over your faces that you come onto the Black Spine Road itself. There you see your first Argosi. In fact, it's a caravan of six of them. Six immense rolling fortresses, each drawn by two mechalots. 
with what must be a thousand guards and outriders all around them. A veritable moving army winding its way along the Black Spine Road. You find yourselves on the third day batting away road elves selling gems and feathers and nuts and spices unless anybody wishes to uh, to take a moment to trade with these uh, entirely trustworthy individuals you're offered at least two bone swords of Faloth yes you're there. I've had my fill of elves <laughs> <laughs> fill of elves get it did we even probably should have the Windbreak Mountains slowly come into view on the far side of the Black Spine Gap, a purple blur across the horizon. Coming up in the opposite direction, phalanx of half giants in chitin war suits, led by a Nibbanese Templar. And everything you've heard is true. She's wearing nothing more than a golden halter from which falls a sheer diaphanous silk gown. Legends that the Shadow King's wives wear next to nothing are proven to be entirely true. But there's nothing lascivious about it. She walks like a queen, head and chin held high. The only word that comes to mind seeing her stride past with the half giants behind her is quite simply as majestic. The tenant farms begin on rolling fields of sand grass, and from them, roads leading off to large and noble estates. Close to the city, royal fields where slave water carriers tend them, hurrying to and fro. Sporadic clusters of clay brick citizen buildings herald the first outskirts of Nibane itself. A rise in humidity thicket is a signal of home. As the Black Spine Road curves around and begins its wending way northward, you see acre upon acre of hot springs spreading out ahead of you, steam rising from geysers and vents. I say a small prayer to the spirit of the land. The entire vista ahead of you is dominated by the windbreak mountains great purple sided peaks their tops crested with snow their flanks forested across the horizon the waving trees of the crescent forest and emerging out of this an immense bluff that rises into a cliff and then drops sheer faced the hot springs at its base. And there, between cliff and burning water, is the city-state of Nibane. A walled immensity, its spires rising to the dark sun. Scents and sounds and sights drifting over the steaming plain toward you. And by this point, you are effectively queuing. Caravan, Templars, guards, merchants, citizens, farmers, slaves, all inching their way back and forward, slowly up the Black Spine Road to the gates of the city. Though you have been traveling by night, the sun is well up in the sky before you draw close to the city itself. Um, and... Why not? That's if this Yora's getting uh, into trouble again, I'll cast a spell to uh, help her alleviate uh, from the sun. And there is Nibane. At the bottom, you can see the uh, the edge of the waters. A vast metropolis. At its heart, the Nagaramakam the forbidden citadel of the Sorcerer King. 
At the back, you can see along here the great cliff into which it is built. This, the Serpent Tower, one tower that rises up higher than all the others. But it's to here, on this side, that the road eventually deposits you. You pass between <coughs> immense statues depicting what must be Nibane himself, a tall, hawk-nosed, bearded, regal figure, hair swept back from a proud bow, brow, beard jutting, various depictions of him. I mean, immense, 200 feet columns that these statues sit upon as, they, as you march between a good couple of dozen of them in the final approach to what is called the Mechalot Gate. So named because, as you're able to see, an entire Mechalot Argosi can simply drive through it. See, to the top of the gates, um, we'll need the other overlay for this one, Lee, because it's a different size. I've been longing to show this picture for a long time. Yes, there it is. It's hidden behind the skull. Bring that down a little bit, Lee, if you can, because that is the legendary Nibbanese nose flute in all of its glory. <laughs> you can actually see he's playing it with his nose. God damn. There he is. Oh my God, there he is. There you can put it back. There you go. <laughs> These uh, musicians sit atop the gate itself, um, playing on tambours and pipes and indeed the nose flute. A rhythmic, compulsive, pulsing beat. And you can see that people are actually walking and swaying in time to it. The animals moving likewise to the beat, and you find yourselves almost hypnotically compelled. It lends a certain gentle order to the passage through the Mechalot Gate. Noon is a burgeoning threat in the sky above you. And you have almost certainly had to uh, protect Siora with a, a merciful shadow spell. Uh, you have your parasols up, wiping the sweat away, sipping at your water uh, water skins by the time you reach the gate. A lower-ranked Templar, and therefore uh, more fully clad, and uh, the ever-present half-giant guards here in black kite in armour are making notes on a great clay tablet. No visitor has spared their attention. Eventually, of course, uh, your small group makes its way to the front of the line. And this, by the way, I am assuming that you guys have headed into the city. If either of the druids wish to hive off here to their respective guarded lands, let me know and I will um, I will amend accordingly. It depends on what, what, what the plan is. I mean, um, I do definitely want to go and um, see to uh, sacred lands, obviously, but the... the um... I don't want to just walk away from this group. Bye. That is... <laughs> <laughs> the only plan that I've heard so far is to sell your loot. Um, right. I'm, I'm, I'm open to... Uh... That's what I mean, we'll be let's, doing. Yeah. let's start with that. Okay. Uh, so, the temple looks you up and down, your small group. Humans. Welcome do, do to I, Libane. Do... You, you mentioned that I might be a little bit known in the city. Because... You're a citizen. You're, you'll be on yeah. the rolls, which you'll be able to explain to her in a moment. Okay. Humans, your names. Are you citizens here in Nibidane? Um, Not, no. My name is Senex. Senex. Siora. S I'm not a citizen. Siora. Very well. Uh... Is Zuxis actually a citizen or not? No. No. Jozal. What are you called, little fellow? This one is Darje. Is he? Darje. Are you on the rolls? No. Hmm. Halfling. I am Ubulai. I tend the lands of House Edon. Ah. 
You're not ever one of the half giants, would you? The half giant disappears into a gatehouse. Emerges a moment later. Nods. Very well. And two Surins. Duxis, hmm? Scathis. We're not on the rolls. Right, so five of you, ten, I make that. And that'll be a ceramic, please. And Duxis forks it over. No, she doesn't. She doesn't have any money. She looks at <laughs> the others. <laughs> Sc- Scathis will hand over two ceramics for the two of them. Oh, we, oh. Do actually, we do have money from the elves. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's one bit per leg. And so five of you are paying. So that's ten bits. That's one ceramic. And then I'll want one another... ceramic for everyone. Yes, and then I want another twelve bits for your kanks, please. Um, is is, is Suxis? Su- uh, you think that she's being scammed here, or no? This is the going rate. Okay, and she is it. She nods to Scarthus. Ah, Scathis will, yeah, we'll pay that. All right, uh, what do you have on the kanks here? Um, uh, some, some weaponry, some food, camping equipment. My, uh, caravan got robbed on the way, so this is what's left. Uh, these are trade goods? Yeah. Estimated value? I would say sale value or, or what? Yes, estimated sale value. About a gold. A gold, really? Uh, let me check. Well, it was gold, right? Let me check. That's right, Haunted Chronicles. Death and taxes. <laughs> yeah, uh, 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 say somewhere between a thousand and fifteen hundred ceramics. That's what I'm right. guessing. Okay, yeah, plus whatever um, Sior has added in about. I just six... I pay my two bits for my well, hold on. <laughs> Yep, but you've added about another six hundred and fifty seven hundred on top of that from the elves in value. So let's say you're about twenty two hundred ceramics. Yeah, that's probably the, the total value. Yeah. In value, okay. Might be a little bit less. Yeah, okay. Mm, okay, well uh, let's say uh let's value it at two thousand, shall we? We want to keep things moving here. Mm-hmm. Um Okay, good then. Um, uh, duty is uh, import duty is five percent. Okay. So uh, that will be a hundred ceramics, please. How much do we have from the elves and everybody else? We have to probably scrape it together. The elves you had, you had seventy-three coins. <laughs> mm-hmm. Can we get a hundred together, guys? I've got thirty. I have 325 ceramic pieces. Whoa, what? you're stuck. Don't you? How'd you get that? Well, I had some left he's been, over. He's been dragging this bag of money behind him as he's been running <laughs> through the desert. You guys don't know, but that's what's in his frills. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's what uh, charges him. So, um, can you front that? We'll uh, calculate it out in the, in the sale mm. of, the, of the goods. If Dodge sees it back. Yes. Acceptable. Okay, so knock 100 off that, please, Dodge. Um, it's while your guys are busy having this, this discussion um, that a particularly tall and well dressed elven gentleman, a really rather handsome specimen, um, comes over and whispers, whispers in the Templar's ear. The tempter looks him up and down, and he discreetly uh, hands, and you see the flash of silver, a couple of coins. The tempter nods, steps back, and busies herself with paperwork. And the elf approaches. Do we hear what he was saying, or...? And bows from his waist. Well, you can't. I have lip reading. Can I have done that? Yeah, make me a lip reading roll, please. But I have extra good hearing. For an old man. Yeah. 
Nice. Nice. Yeah, good. Okay. Um, so you see him uh, identify himself. I am the major domo of House Chirodius. The lady of the house wishes an audience with these new arrivals. She has been alerted to their coming. Is there a donation she might make to your husband that you might facilitate this? And then the silver changes hands. So the elf steps forward and bows. Travelers, welcome to Nibane, the city of spires. Your coming is expected here. My name is Dorian. I am the major domo of a great merchant house one for which you have performed a favor recently. Its lady would wish to express to you her gratitude for this service. Well, it is a pleasure to meet you. Thank you for your courtesy. And you likewise. You must be Siora, yes? I am indeed. Hmm. My lady has been given a great recommendation of your skill at negotiations. By who? A mutual acquaintance. Hmm. Just along this way is Sage's Square, where my lady has a great trade concession. She would like to invite you there to offer you a meal and water and her thanks. But this is most welcome. I'm glad to hear it. Might I ask who um, the acquaintance is so I can give them my thanks? I believe I would not be speaking out of turn if I said it was a gentleman by the name of Lalarash. Me checks notes. Is that the coward one? He's yeah. That's, uh, he's that's the trader. <laughs> yeah. He's the cowardly trader guy from the outpost. Who oh, was in, the, in the tower that was like. Oh, oh that you guy. Know? <laughs> yeah, him, yeah. Yeah. Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay. Huh. Interesting. Oh, he got away then. Somehow. <laughs> Probably I leaving guess. a trail of corpses behind him as he did. <laughs> More like... Other people's corpses, yeah. Yeah, yes. yeah. I don't have to outrun the bad guys, I just have to outrun you. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, like, out of character, would Chirodius pay our import tax? Like, I don't know. I don't know. What? what? Would, would Chirodius... Pay our import tax for like our goods. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> she might be able to secure for you favorable trade uh, agreements with your your goods here. Lead the way. So I shall. I'm just going to so tell her best friends with Matthias. I mean, unless there's <laughs> any objection, I look around at everybody. Let no, us no. go. So go, you do. You leave the dancing gates behind and make your way through the uh, streets of Nibane, a city without compare mm -hmm. in the Tablelands. Sage Square itself is a large esplanade. <clears throat> Strangely enough, um, it seems to be uh, bordered with where well, once you might expect in there to be plants. Instead, there is just ash uh, and a fountain of a mantis warrior, a thracreen in the middle, a trickle of water emerging from its mouth. On all sides, the emporia of the great uh, trading houses, it's the carvings that you notice the most. 
every surface, every wall, every sill, every lintel, every tower, every cobblestone under your feet is intricately carved with forest scenes and strange mythical beasts and heroes and warriors until eventually there you come to it, bristling with guards, its towers fresh and new and polished clean. Over the doors, an emblem of a critic lizard wearing a little hat. <laughs> the sign of House Chirodius. Look, Selva, that's you. Your lizard buries his head and goes back to sleep. <laughs> Through the gates you are led. The courtyard inside is immense, and all around you there is the bustling activity of trade underway. Goods piled coming in here, goods piled going out there. Wagons ready, two Argosy wagons being loaded up, Kanks offloading. Your, cell, your, your own Kanks are taken and stabled almost immediately with promises that the goods will be uh, safely unpacked and labelled for you. And Dorian leads you through the courtyard and up onto a large veranda. And uh, there she is waiting for you. And uh, Carl, had I, had I seen your suggestions of costumes earlier on, um, I'm sure Arnout would have incorporated them into the new picture. As it stands, she wears something a little similar to her old robes, but now chased with gold, a gleaming magical medallion at her breast, and atop her staff, the emblem of her house. A woman of cool and reserved beauty. Dorian bows. My lady Chirodius, your guests... And then he walks backwards, leaving Su you. Uh... Success uh, eyes the Lady Carodias up and down and immediately slinks into the background. <clears throat> she recognizes uh, a fellow predator when she, when, whenever she sees one <laughs> and makes herself scarce and um, not a target. That's reassuring. <laughs> Welcome. Have a seat. Oh, you're playing Carodius now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have a seat. Just a I, quick question, Mark. Would you uh, check my DM I sent you? Okay. All right. Interesting. All right. No worries. Thank you. I I will take a seat. Yeah, I'll happily take a seat. Me too. Scathus is hesitant to relax. I feel like he's been a little bit on edge since he entered the city. Mark, have I ever seen anything this large and bustling in my life? No, the route that you took south, you avoided every single city-state. Yeah, he's You, th you thought Crom Cromlin so was, was, was big. No, this is just on a whole other level. Surrounded by people, he's felt like an attack could come from anywhere, so he's been on edge the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, look up at the, at the lady... Uh front of me I have never I, I've I'm assuming I would have heard of the house yes one of the the, the, the newest trading house in Nibane. um yeah. some kind of big shot over in Tia she's been throwing her weight around the ivory triangle um, for the last six months right what's, what's this, it this is thing? a pleasure to meet you here yeah. all right sorry carry on Likewise. 
my man Lalarash. <clears throat> spoke about you. He put me in a, in a bit of a dilemma here. He spoke after I in, had a, an intense uh, debrief with him about uh, your very capable defense of uh, the outpost. To which my thanks, of course. Uh, it also shows me that you are a capable group. Um, on the other hand, he also brought me news that you stole from me. A can, food, water, supplies. Which kind of put me in a dilemma. <clears throat> As you know, the the rules in the city uh, deal harshly with uh, theft. And it would be out of my hands if I would report the theft. But <clears throat> I've decided, uh, considering your great efforts at the outpost, that maybe we could uh, resolve this in a more uh, amicable better manner. You say stole, I think we could say borrowed, so we could get to the tower to kill the Sionicist that was controlling the elves and the gith. And when we came back, everyone was dead, so we brought the kank back. The kank's in one of your stables. Yeah, it didn't really work that way, huh? We did flee because everyone else was overrun. We managed to hold down our warehouse, the others were not able. So we left to do what we could. As my friend Senex said, we returned to Outpost 3 to find it abandoned. So we headed here. It wasn't quite theft if it was left neglected and alone. Surely you should have had some of your men guarding it, instead of random civilians. Well, if you feel comfortable to explain this whole story to the guards of the city. Instead of... Um, I'll, I'll leave you a moment to discuss this among yourselves. Also, you might want to hear what I uh, have to offer as, you know, a compromise to resolve the situation. Oh, I'd much rather hear that than before you blackmail us. Yes. And to be quite honest, like you said, if it's your property, we can give it back. It was not our intention to steal, but save the life of the Kank I, I and to get out safely. I am sure you're well aware that does not work the way the law works with theft in this city. But you are not the law. You, you, you can make your own choices. Mm -hmm. You do not have to as, report this. As soon as it, no, exactly. But there, there, of course, is of course my my predicament here, isn't it? I need something from you, and I am willing to get it. What is it you need? I have a problem. And I need a capable group that is not directly linked to me, me or my house to figure out what's going on. That just supposed is this is where we come in. Yes. What does the lady require? Um. Okay, I'll put forward you the situation that that's going on at the moment. It's come to my attention that my caravans are being used without my permission. to um, funnel uh, shakat beetles. I know it sounds a bit Do you ridiculous. know what those are? They're like parasites. They live on things. 
Uh, they they feed on inixes. They're like they're, they're a fair size. I mean, they're known as common pests. Kind of yes. little biting, blood sucking leech beetles, really awful like bloody things. Ticks. What, one of the one yeah, of the, like it, giant fucking yeah. ticks. Yeah. Yeah. The, the problem being that one of the side effects of their bites is that they leave uh, psionic victims and defenses. And it's being used to funnel through my caravans and going in the hands of all the wrong kind of people, deliberately this, being used as a weapon. This much, at least, is unusual. Normally, a shakat beetle doesn't do this when it bites you. This much what, you know. What kind Some of shakat kind of... beetle is this? I have never heard of shakat beetle doing this. You are asking all the questions that I am asking, and that How I need answers, your... and that I need answers to. How are you? Uh, do you mean you send caravans out? They bring back what you require, but they also smuggle these beetles, or are your caravans being stolen? No, no, no. They 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 smuggle alongside in the caravans. Somebody is bringing see. them along. I'm not sure what's going on, but they go through my caravans. Does the lady suspect one of her workers to be on the inside? Yes, that could quite well 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 be, yes. Uh, somebody working on the caravan, maybe a group or network on, on the caravan, maybe it is somebody trying to put my caravan in a bad light. Does the lady have anyone in particular in mind? I have no specific subjects. No, no patterns um, you can follow. Who are yeah, your greatest the, the trade? Caravan. Who are your greatest trade um, competitors? Who isn't? Who stands to gain from doing this? There's all the many. other houses. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Surely you so, must have a psionicist on board that can find out who's doing that. I have psionicists, none, none very capable in this particular aspect. And I don't have the time to actually spend on it myself. Also, I'm far too well known. So the lady wants to have the investigation done by this I group. I would like to hire you as a complement of the caravans in whatever roles that uh, are suitable. We just arrived in the city from a long trek through the desert. Perhaps we have may have time to of course. see to our uh, affairs. Of course, of course. There's an, another caravan leaving in four days' time. You could, the idea. Uh, you could be on that, you think? What's the pay? You mean apart from uh, me wiping the slate clean? Well, you consider them a slate. We don't consider a slate, so we're not saying no to this. But if we're going to do this, there's no slate, and we get a payment for it. Surely, surely a great house like this could do that. As a token of my respect and esteem. I will offer each and every one of you 20 ceramics a day as payment for your role. Uh, out of character, is that a, is that a good price? Or is that kind of meh? <laughs> I, I, I have no idea. That's, as far as I know, as far as I well, see Well, we'll prices... never know because the DM's been muted. Yay! It's, a, it's, it's about the equivalent of 20 gold pieces a day in, a, in another campaign setting. So that's very good. Yeah, so it's good. banging. That's pretty, that's pretty epic. Um, and would that include your goods returned or are they ours to keep? Which, what good? The ones your... you claim we stole. Yeah, you mean the, the, the kank and the, and, and the food? Yes. Well, to be fair, those kanks died. So you're you're not in the position to return it to me. You're trying to tell well, me. Well, we've got two new ones that we got, so you can have one of them back. Mm. And obviously, we've got the food on on there. You can have that back. Mm. 
So, yeah. But it would be safe to argue that the very... F the very fact that we made it here and the fact that we eliminated the threat of the figure, the psionicist, who was controlling the elves that were threatening Outpost 3. As well as the elves that also attacked us on the road back, yeah. And the gith. Mm -hmm. That was all taken care of. That road is now open again, should you so wish to re-establish Outpost 3 as a, as a, as a trading home. I also don't think any of your men would have made it back without us. We defended them multiple well, times. We don't I know how many is, of them made it back. Who made it back? It is worth the, the, the life of your of your man Lalarash. Without our help, he would have surely been dead. He did nothing so, but hide in the tower. The cake and the food don't have to be repaid. Twenty ceramics so, each a day. The offer is on the table. Twenty ceramics each a day, and you do this for me. And we're fed and watered. Okay. Um, I offered you twenty ceramics a day. Uh, the alternative is that you don't take the deal and you walk back. But if you think that you're in a position to uh, negotiate. Oh no! I think the twenty and, and, her, and her voice becomes a little bit steely suddenly. Said, I think the twenty is fine. How, how but about obviously... I make you an offer of eight in ceramics a day? I thought the twenty was fine, but obviously we're not able to carry food and water for the duration of the caravan trip. So I'm why not? Assuming... You have a gank now. Oh, is that coming with us? Okay. Well, you have a gank. What you do with it is not my problem. The lady don't, is don't, most mis don't, don't, don't mistake my generosity with the fact that you then have a position to negotiate. Because that's not the case here. Of course it isn't. We will, we will take, take the, the lady's generous offer. Acceptable. It is better pay than I've ever had as a caravan guard. I am presuming that... Uh, you come back with a success. And don't think this mission will be without risk. Be of course subtle. not. That be is subtle. why you are sending us. For the risk. Would you like to have... Uh, you had a long journey. Would you like to have a lunch? It's served in the room behind us. That would be very agreeable. Is that free? That is my uh, <clears throat> hospitality being offered. Yes. Well, Let that's very go. kind of you, Lady Carodius. Thank you for Why? your offer. Why do I hate her in two campaigns now? Yeah, underneath my breath, I'm like, <laughs> fuck it, bitch. <laughs> this is our all meeting first interactions uh, with Carodius here. Please have a drink. <laughs> please have a drink. I thought I Matthias might have you. softened you. Nope. Not in the ways that count, apparently. So, you settle yourselves down uh, in the luncheon room where a, a sumptuous feast like none of you has ever before seen. Waters and wines and ales of the highest quality. Food cooked beautifully, prepared, succulent vegetables and juicy meats. The entire place is dripping with subtle wealth. Surely I've experienced it before. To be fair, actually, Sayora, you probably have. This and reminds the, me of home. And it, I was just going to say, it is the first thing in many, many months that makes you feel like home. I'm sure mine may have, but I can't remember it. Honestly, Siora is very much trying to hide the fact that she is, one, comforted by it, and also extremely flippin' angry about it as well. She is really trying to, like, she's probably, like, clenched fists, like, very, very poised and, and uh, polite, but, like, clenched fists, like, grabs everything, like, <laughs> really toughly, like... <laughs> And she's angry about what? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> wouldn't you like to she, know? She probably does. Of course. Right. So Let's we will... This. 
Oh, yes, please go ahead. I was going to say, uh, the trappings of wealth have a limited impression on Scathis. For the most part, he just, he smells meat. He goes <laughs> to eat meat. Yes. <laughs> Dodge is the same. <clears throat> I, uh, I'm actually more excited about the vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a weird fucking halfling, man. <laughs> so I don't have to be worried about Scathis eating me. Don't but, like green but food. Thicket, I have to be worried about. I'm, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a druid. I like I like green food. Also, what was the <laughs> name you gave at the gate? Because it wasn't Thicket. What was it? Ubulai. 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 Have you ever used that name with us before? No. Okay, so while we're eating... <laughs> um, she like has a flashback she's like wait she, a second she's like hold on a tip I remember something yeah. really weird between Excuse all the nose me. flutes <laughs> now that we're now that we're finally in, alone mm -hmm. I didn't want to bring it up in the in the line in case it was a, a lie but why did you use a different name to enter the city it is my name I thought Thicket was your name oh, I think it is a silly name my my master gave me. Because of my hair, you see. So you've had us calling you by your slave name this whole time? I'm not a slave. So you said a... master, I just assumed. Well, I am sponsored by a noble lady. House Edon. I tend to my sacred lands, which happen to be her lands. Edon. Not, not whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> he said it's sponsored and my brain just went. Like, um, House uh, Lord VPN. <laughs> I'm um, I, I, I turn around and I've got like a tattoo of House Lord. Like, uh, <laughs> you just pull out the merch like. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Today's session is brought to you by My Dubai Mineral Water. <laughs> it's the taste of the Emirates. <laughs> So you said what is the name again? U Ubu Lai. Mm. Ubu Lai. Ubu Lai. Okay. House Breed you... Shadow Legends. <laughs> Do you prefer Ubu Lai or Thicket? It is whatever you find easiest. Non halflings are s sometimes a bit simple about names. They like to yeah. shorten things. Right. Thicker it is. Whatever you like. My simple mind will go with thicker. It's such a gentle way he just called you, like, you know, <laughs> a, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> what? Brilliant. <clears throat> well, we have Scathis, we have Xerxes, and. It's just easier to just go with Thicket. My old mind, you know. I don't like this music. It means we're ending. It does. It means we're going to leave you. The camera will pull back as you have your, your delicious meal, your over-dinner banter, and we close on the inscrutable features of the Lady Chirodius, leader of Merchant House Chirodius, watching assessing and then nodding to herself with a slight smile of recognition she knows what a successful adventuring party looks like fucking morons <laughs> <laughs> and yet somehow they get the job done i love this uh, picture <laughs> bitch <laughs> <Great>. moron <laughs> bitch <laughs> what? Are you calling a moron? What? Uh, who did that? <laughs> who put that there? It wasn't me. I'll never tell. <laughs> I'll never tell as bad as old Diana. <laughs> so we'll uh, we'll see how this pans out next session as you sign aboard the uh, the trade caravan of Merchant House Carodius and delve into the depths of the illicit Shakat beetle trade.